Betty, welcome. Oh, no. We've got the welcome wigglers. The welcome wigglies are here. Come here, welcome wiggly. Would you like to... Hey, welcome wigglies, calm down. The welcome wigglies. I'm right here. Can you see me, guys? The welcome wigglies. Welcome wigglies. Welcome everybody coming in. Great to see everybody. Jazz Mama, wake up Maggie. Can you guys hear me? All oh, the welcome wigglies are over here turning up. Say the welcome wigglies are turning up. Hey, okay, can we calm it down? Can we do that? I think we can't. Okay. Great to see everybody. Welcome. Welcome everybody coming in. All right. Let these little wild beasts calm down and then we will get started. So there's a couple things going on and I just figured that uh, we would have a quick chat and just kind of talk about everything that's been going on. Update with me, update with the community. Got a Ipsy Glam Bag X, a big box. Uh, we've got a couple things popping, so everybody thumbs up. Let's get this out there and we'll get started. Let me get these. Hey. Welcome Wiggly. Welcome Wiggly. Welcome Wiggly. Welcome Wiggly. All right. Okay, listen. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, hey, you're going to have to take this down on the floor. All right, get down. Hey, okay. Time out. Sorry, guys. Let's get down. Get in your beds if we're going to do all this. Sugar Bear was being good, and that, look at him. He is just freaking, <laughs> look at him. Come here, welcome, Wiggly. Welcome, Wiggly. <laughs> All right, stop, Simon. Get down with this mess. Get down, Mr. Wiggs. Get down. One, Simon, one, two, get your Wiggly towel down, because you don't know how to act. She wants to chill. You guys have got me all slobbery. Hey, Fit and Curvy, welcome. Oh, they are being wild, of course. He is the instigator. He truly is. Hey, Simon, let her chill. Yeah, the little French bulldog is something else. Everyone's like, oh, the little pit bully bulldog mix. No. Yeah, he is <laughs> He's something else, man. They got everything all... I got to get a lot done this week. So, let's kind of give an update. Hey! All right. Oh, it is what it is. I think once they'll chill, once they kind of... I took a nap, and I am awake, and I'm like, all right. Well, we might as well do a quick look at my skin from them. Oh my God. All right, welcome everybody. Mama to Kitties, Re, Life of an Angel Ma, Balance, Tiffany, Jazz Mama, Fit and Curvy, Bunny Melon, Erica, Anna, Belladonna, Danny Lynn, Bunny Melon, Vulgar, BBY, Claudia, Katie, Saren, Terry K, Desiree, Erica. All right, hold on. Hey! Sandra, welcome. Dan, good to see you, love. Good to see you. Thank you, Dan. Okay, so let's do a quick update, and let's go ahead and get in with... Oh, my goodness, you guys. A little bit of everything. Miss Connie, welcome. So, I want to give you guys a heads up. As you can see, we have got somebody on my trail that obviously despises me. Sorry, I can't concentrate with all this. Hey! All right, we're not going to be... Okay, um... There is somebody hot on my trail. I don't want to bring attention to it, but I'm just going to say one more thing, and then we're going to move on. There is somebody using my name, and they are saying racial things. So, I just want to put that out there. If you have a channel or if you're in somebody's chat, that you see a healthy pet deflection, not on purpose. Um, if you see anybody being mean to you in somebody else's chat, if... Hold on. Stop! Hey! Simon! 
sorry. He needs to. He's like. <sighs> if you see somebody being mean to you in somebody's chat, if you see somebody saying racial things, obviously it's not me. So just a heads up. I wanted to get that out there. Um, I've been notified. There's a lot of things shaken. Somebody's using my name and saying racial things in others' chats. So just a heads up. You know, just keep your eyes peeled. If you see, you know, somebody going rogue, obviously, you know, it's not me. Stephanie T, welcome. All right. Now, can we stop? Sorry, the, this was, they were chill. The minute I turned on the camera is like turn up city. So... I'm doing all right. A family member had surgery, so that is cool out the way. I'm like, fantastic. They're good to go. I was so worried about that. Um, I know, guys. I know. Um, Pookie, welcome. So, um, you know, just keep your eyes peeled. If you have a channel, if you're in a different chat, you see somebody, you know, saying racial things, um... There's actually two imposters. Maybe it's the same person. Um, ham and rum, welcome. There's there's two imposters. It's probably, I would say, the same person. But, um, you know, there's, there's a couple things running around. <laughs> so, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. Um, I've been emailed, sent the screenshots. They're going around to others' chats, saying racial things. And I was like, whatever. That just makes me so mad that... I'm like, wow. So, obviously, I would probably say that they're a racist because even if you're joking using my name and you're saying racial things, that still makes you a racist, in my opinion. So, um, we've got that knocked out. Let's see what else we've got. Okay, my family's surgery went great. That's good. Um, now, my family will get home in about three days. So... Obviously, I'm going to have to go to their house, make sure they're all right. So, if I'm not, you know, present these next couple days, which I, I'll probably, I'm going to try and get back in the swing of things. I know it's been a lot, but I also have to make sure my family's all right. Go over to their house, make sure, um, you know, make sure that they're okay fed, make sure everything's okay. Nikki, welcome. Eric, welcome. So yes, yeah, so that's a load off my back that their surgery went okay. One thing off the list. Mark, welcome. So that's good. Uh, my family's in the hospital. Somebody had surgery. So yeah, so um, it was just a routine surgery, like nothing popped up out of the, we knew this was coming. Uh, Sandra, YouTube runs a month behind, love, and then I just had a family member get surgery, so I'm kind of trying to get back in the swing of things. Yeah, Sandra, I will get, YouTube runs a month behind, so, um, and then a family member had surgery, so we got that out the way, they're good, the surgery went fantastic, I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, yes, so I will get the nails done, Sandra, when YouTube comes. I got, like I said, to take care of my family for probably about the next week, maybe two weeks. I don't know how this all rolls. Um, so, get that handled. I'll get Justice's box out, and then we'll get ready for the Christmas giveaways, and we will be rocking ahead. Um, the Wubbles, obviously, they're okay. <laughs> Happy and wild as ever. Um, I took a nap. Karen, welcome. Welcome, everybody coming in. So, the Wubbles are happy and healthy. They are doing fantastic. Yes, Sandra, I did not forget. It's literally been, um, it, it's just been like, pfft. so yes, I definitely, um, you know, I, I, you know, life is what it is, you know, and life, unfortunately, is what it is. So, I'm glad that the surgery's out the way. I feel like I can breathe a minute. Nikki, you're right on time, love. We're just kind of doing an update, and then we'll bust open this box, and then we will kind of get um what's been shaking the last couple days, and let me tell you, I have, whoo, I've had my eyes on it. Okay, so, 
Let's get into a couple quick things I wanted to talk about, and then we'll get into this week's drama. I've got my notes over here. Okay, so, if you haven't seen the community tab... I'm very nervous I've been watching too much TV. Do some of that MRSA stuff for just kidding. Um... Yes, I stopped over to check out Lindsay with an A. I love the name of their uh, their little... They had like the Sanderson sisters, but they uh, Tiffany was in here a second ago. I don't know if she's still in here. But um, they had the Sanderson sisters, and that was... Yeah, Tiffany, that was hilarious. That was really great. I've got to go back and check your impression. I was looking for it before I was kind of getting ready. And um, Elizabeth, Welcome. Okay, well, my YouTube app seems to be uploading on here, so let's go ahead and get at what is going on, and then we will get started. Okay, so tomorrow is free cup day. Oh, this tablet looks absolutely gross underneath thing. I've got to take this off and wash it off. Travis, welcome. Saint, welcome. Okay, so, well, all right, you can tell I'm all over the place. Little Aussie, welcome. Thank you, Little Aussie. Yes, so tomorrow is free cup day at Starbucks, and you get this free cup. It's got the lid that comes with it. It's one of the plastic ones that I showed last year. So if you have a friend, a family member, co-worker that, you know, you're going to Starbucks already tomorrow, or you've never thought about going or just wanted to try it, tomorrow is free cup day. This is what the cup looks like. Now, what I'm gathering on the website and the email that they sent me is... You have to buy one of the holiday drinks. So again, make sure you ask your baristas. I want to make this clear. Make sure you ask. You know, I just don't want you to go buy something and then be like, thanks a lot, Kaya. So make sure you ask what is the, you know, drinks that is goes with the free cups. From what I'm gathering here on the, it says, um... Holiday your heart out tomorrow, November 18th, with a limited edition reusable red cup. Our gift to you with purchase of a qualifying handcrafted holiday drink. So ask your baristas. Again, I don't want you to waste your money. Ask your baristas what the qualifying drinks are. Now, if you're going for somebody else, ask them to, you know, if one of your friends or family members says, I want one, make sure that you can get the number of cups you want per the drinks that you get. Okay. What are you doing, Pete? Hi, Pete. Say, I just wanted to hang out with you and the people and he's getting on my nerves. Have a seat, Pete. I love you, too. I love you, too. Okay. Another thing I wanted to show, and then we'll get right into it. I know not everybody is here for these type of things. So, bathroom body, bath and body, every year does this new box where you get nine gifts. It is $40 this year with any $40 purchase. I showed it last year. I did pick one up last year. The good thing about this gift is it comes with a ton of stuff. Say you wanted to keep the candles. You wanted to like last year, I kept the candles and the soap and then you could gift it around. Or if they didn't like the senses you gave it as a gift, they could always take the scents back. So this box dropped on the internet. I don't know if it's still going to, but it hits the, um, it hits the store on the 24th. Come here, you got a gar. You've got gars in your eyes, and I just wiped them. Come here, honey. Let's get your gars. Okay, got your gars. Good job. So, I will show what the box looks like. It again, great. You could spend $40 if there was like that little plug-in thing that you wanted I showed the other day, the little projector. You could get you the projector, or vice versa. You could get that and keep this or divvy these out as gift. So, this drops on the internet. Don't quote me, but I think it's November 24th is when this box drops. These boxes do go quickly. Now, keep your eyes peeled. There are coupons out. I don't ever get them. Sometimes my grandma gets them. Uh, Carly, I'm doing pretty good. Um, everything's starting to come together. Uh, my friend, you know, the funeral 
that's taken care of. My family member just had a surgery that was upcoming that I was worried about. They made it fantastic through the surgery. So again, like I said, those that are just coming in, flower power, welcome, Carly. If I'm not present or I'm in and out the next couple days or the next week, I've obviously got to help my family once they get home in the next couple days. So I'm going to show you what this year's box is and um, always check the community tab for things like this. So this is this year's box. And you get this box for $40 after you spend $40 over a $100 value. Here's this year's box. So it's got one big three wick and it says the perfect Christmas. It's got a single wick that says Merry Crick or something cookie. It's got a pocket back a full-size soap, a little hand uh, thing, and it's got three full-size, a lotion, a body wash, and a spray. So, if you're kind of, every box is different this year, um, but I kind of show last year what the box was. So, basically, you have to spend 80 bucks, you get the box, and then whatever you want with your $40. So, just a heads up, that's what's going on, and it shows, hey, knock it off. Can you just calm down for one minute? You're dripping water everywhere, and Sugar Bear wants to chill. Okay, so yes, yeah, so that's what I wanted to say as far as what's popping, what's shaking. Tie-dyed hippo, Emma Kate, welcome, love. So, got the Bath and Body Works box, drops the 24th. I don't know it was on the internet tonight. Got the free cup at Starbucks tomorrow. Belladonna, welcome. Ask your baristas what the qualifying drinks are. Okay, let's go ahead and open this Ipsy Glam Bag X, and then we'll talk about what has been brewing in the car, uh, the community. Okay, so this is the Ipsy Glam Bag X for November 2021. Hold on. You need to chill out. She wants to relax, and if you're not, you have to get in your bed. Look at him watch this. Mercy. Okay. Well, you're going to be a good boy now. All right. He's like... So, this is the November 2021 Glam Bag X. Uh, it's one of those... Oh, I should have brought last year's cup up. It's just one of the small plastic cups, the reusable ones. Just one of, like... You know the ones that you can buy, like, the reloadable hot cups? I'll show you the cup again right quick. Those are coming in. Kyle, welcome. I seen little... Nyqua, welcome. Yeah, I seen little Aussie's super chat. Thank you again, little Aussie. Yes, I seen that. Thank you again, little Aussie. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, um, I'm going to tell you what. Stephanie T. Um, Ipsy has been, I'm going to just give you my honest opinion. Ipsy's been trash lately. Maybe I get the small box and I up for this one every, but the small Ipsy has been absolutely terrible lately. So if you do get the Ipsy, get the full size one because the little one, the $12 one, all I get is primers and lotions. Yes. Thank you, Amy. Thank you. Looney, welcome. So, um, if you guys get Ipsy, spring for the bigger box. Because the little box, all I get all the time is primer and lotions. And thank God, you know, I have you guys to share things with. There is no way in the world I would be able to use all these primers and lotions. I've even changed my profile up. A lot of people say change your profile after you get your bag. Little Vegas girl, welcome, Robert. Okay, so I did the free, when I first signed up for Ipsy, I got a the free refreshments. Now, refreshments, Fat Fit Fun is probably, I would say, for the money and the price point, it is worth it. I love when you get to the point where you can choose. In my opinion, if you're going to get a box, when I first got on here, I always showed Fab Fit Fun. I got it as a Christmas gift, and then I got this as a gift last year, an Ipsy subscription. Now, I will say that I do love getting a subscription for, you know, my birthday or Christmas. 
I do love that. It gives me something to look forward to throughout the year. I can share things with you guys. So that is what I like. But if you're going to get the Ipsy, get the full size one. The little minis to me, it's like primers and lotions, primers and lotions and skincare. You have to use skincare and keep it rolling or else it'll go bad. So that's what I do like is I can share things with you guys. So, when I signed up for Ipsy, there was a thing, like I got it as a gift, like I said. So, when my family members signed me up, you could get free refreshments. Refreshments can be razors, facial things. It's just kind of like their monthly renewal. Now, I only got this as a free trial, and then I canceled it. Charleston's mom, thank you. Welcome, everybody, coming in. So, this is the bag that the free refreshments came in. And I just wanted to show you guys because I was seeing if... So, this is the little refreshment bag that it comes in. And here's the razor. So, I figured we would check this out together. So, here's what the razor blade looks like. Now, this is nice. These are a five-blade razor. So, here's the blade. And then they're obviously, you know, nice and packed. It says refreshments. Yes, Stephanie, a lot of boxes since skincare got popular. It's just went bananas. Okay, so you got the little suction cup you can put like in your bath or shower to hold the razor. And here's what the box looks like. Now, make sure. Knuckle Sandwich, welcome. Thank you. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. I just had to get out of that headspace. It was like, I was just like, I'm like, I got to get out of this headspace, man. With my narcolepsy, my depression, my PTSD and all that, I already get depressed. I already get down and out. Plus the weather changed. Um, I was like, I have got to shake free. So I thought, you know, we'll come on here, open this box, kind of talk about foodles, what's going on with Amber. And I just, you know, um, I just thought we'd get on here and... Uh, Shoot the BS for a minute. Welcome, welcome, proud Grammy. Welcome. Okay, so here's what the box looks like. Again, this is from Ipsy. Now, if you do get the free refreshments when you start your Ipsy, make sure you cancel. They will charge your card. So I had to go back, tell my family member, make sure you cancel. So get your first one free. With your Ipsy if, when they're running the promotion. But cancel. Make sure if you don't want it. Now, if you don't drive. Winners around the bend in some countries. You know, if you don't drive. If you're on disability. Maybe this is something that's good to you. That you know that you have razors and things like that coming all the time. Um, I will say that these are looking to be good razors. So I got three blades here. What? I think they messed up. So I got two suction cups and an extra... I think they messed up. Well, I don't know. Long story short, I got an extra blade and an extra suction cup. So I'll take it. Okay, so here's what the little stick looks like. Sorry, guys. I'm not ignoring you. I just want to... Uh, oh, this is really nice. Mark. <laughs> so this is nice. So it's got the R for refreshment on here. It's got like a nice grip to it. This is nice razor uh, handle. So and then obviously, you know, you whoosh, right in there and then you've got your suction. Simon, I'm about to suction you. Calm it down and leave Pete alone. Pete is trying to chill. Okay, so yeah, so what I got, I don't know if it's standard or they just messed up. I don't think you're supposed to get two of these suction cups. So, I got two suction cups and three razor heads and I am pumped. So, I got this for free when, you know, my subscription started. So, all right. Well, that's good and I would definitely use that. And one of my friends told me that if you get this razor handle, she said one of the razors match. BBY, welcome. One of these, it's either the Chic or Gillette or something go with this handle. So, if you get this and you cancel, 
you know, the refreshments, the subscription, keep your handle and look up maybe Google. But something that's out here is made for these, um, something goes with these. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and keep trucking, bust this box open, and let's get into what is shaking. Yeah, she said that she figured out how, um, that one of the razor companies, this fits this. So, I think this is a good deal for free. Like I said, you know, I don't know how much, you know, obviously it is, you know, with, um, actually, I'll just keep this bag out. We'll use that for a giveaway. Okay, so let's get to what is shaking. So, this box is curated by... Huda. Huda has a company called Huda Beauty. That is her. And again, November 2021 box. So, every box is separate. So, or I mean different. Kai Bear, welcome. Knuckle Sandwich, I'm not for sure. I cannot remember what my friend told me, but she did figure out that the stick went to this with other things. So, like I said, if you guys get this, keep your stick if you're not going to continue to get them. You know, um, now I will show another hat with this. These are good to clean your makeup brushes with. These are like packing foams. If you get this in something, you can cut these in little squares. These are really good to clean your makeup brushes with, or you could cut them into actual sponges. So I try to reuse things like this. Sai, welcome. So if you don't do makeup, you know, you could use them to spiff up your shoes or clean your car with. Or, you know, quick run across the bathroom or like grout tile. But I try to really use things like this reover and you can just cut them into little squares. Okay. Okay, so the first thing I noticed, this is kind of what now. Um, this box is, um, this is like a quarterly box, I think, if I'm not mistaken. The Ipsy Glam Bag X. Now, you can opt in to get this, and you can opt out to get this, but you got to be on the Glam, you know, get one of their bags. You can't just buy this. You've either got to get the small one or get, you know, the regular one. And, um, okay, Jazz Mama, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Under your hills in bed. I have not, Sai. I have not. Okay, so this is why I decided to get this box. Now, like I said, you can opt in and get this. You can opt out to get it. I have a family member that loves skincare. So, this is called the PMD Smart Facial Cleansing Device. So, I'm going to give this as a gift. They have a birthday coming around the bend, and they love skincare. So it's got like little silicone things here, and it's waterproof, and it takes two AA batteries, and I'm going to give this as a gift. And I think what the gist of it is, it's just like a vibrating face wand. Miss Connie, this one was pretty decent. The last one I got, I didn't even bother to show it. I, I thought it was garbage. I thought the last Glam Bag X I got was absolutely terrible. The Halsey one. So, yeah. So, I'm going to give this as a gift. And let's see what this... I think this retails for... Now, again, this is just Ipsy's price. You know, they got it, you know. But this is just the Ipsy price. But let's see what they say. Uh, the magazine has all the prices in, tips and things. Yeah, Sandra, I thought this was cool. And my family, like I said, loves skincare. So, I thought this would be... Okay, so this thing supposedly is the smart, excuse me, the clean, smart facial cleanser device and warmth, and it's supposedly $99. Yeah, this is supposedly $99. So the box is $50 right there. You get your money back. Okay, so that'll be a great gift. Now, would I ever spend $99 on this? Absolutely not, but that is what I like about these boxes. So that'll be a great gift. I can add something with it. And uh, they'll, they'll love that. Okay, moving right along. So I'm pretty pumped. I've always liked this brand. 
This Kenra brand here, I've always liked this. Okay, Sandra says it is a ultrasonic cleanser. Nice. Okay, this is the Kenra Platinum Spray Glass, or excuse me, Glass Spray. Lumin Luminous Nourishing Spray, number six style. So this Kenra brand is really, really good. Now, I looked this up. I did take a peek why I was, you know, get ready. So what this is, is thank you, Lisa. Thank you. So what this is, it's good for frizzies. Nah, I really don't like that. Or excuse me. Nah, I really don't feel like it. Sorry. I'm still getting so used to your name. Welcome everybody coming in. This is going to be great for my hair. It is just kind of like a shine and like a frizz for frizzies. And I have used things from this Kenra brand before. Um, I don't know if it's paraben-free. Let's see here. Um, I don't honestly know, but I do really like this brand. So this is good, you guys. This is probably 17, 18 bucks. Let's see what they say it, but... In my, you know, there's like J.C. Penny, Jamal, welcome, love. In my J.C. Penny, you could probably pick this up for seventeen, eighteen bucks. So let's see what Ipsy says that this is worth. Okay, item number twelve. Now you don't get all these things. This just shows the different things you could get. Okay, item number twelve. Okay, so they're saying that this is twenty three dollars. And this brand is expensive. This is a salon brand. So I do, you know, like I said, you could probably catch it on sale 17, 18, 20. But yeah, so this is a good item. I like this. I really do. Okay, moving right along. Uh, this I'm going to probably put in a giveaway because I have so many setting powders. Um, this is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder. And sugar cookie. Uh, I'm not going to open this, guys, because I do have... Um, yeah, I'm not going to open this. Eric. Um, I'm not going to open this. Okay, that's interesting, Sandra. I know that some of you... Some of them you can. Yeah, it's sealed. I'm not going to open it since it's a gift, but, um, yeah, I know that some of them can be recharged. Okay, so again, we got the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder and Sugar Cookie. This is just like a setting powder, like an under-eye brightening or T-zone. Mia Mia, welcome, love. So we're not gonna open this. I got a setting powder. Um, I use that, um, hourglass powder. The Blend King, welcome, love. Welcome, Jamal. Okay, so let's see what they say this bad boy is worth. Do, do, do. Where are you? Simon, I wish you'd get some more water, buddy. You're panting your little toe off. Well, heck, guys, I'm not seeing this. Oh, here it is. Okay, they're saying that this is $34. $34. Easy bake loose. Easy bake loose baking and setting powder. Leave the who does tip? Leave the powder over your T-zone, under your eyes, your laugh lines for three minutes to fully bake. So what this does is it just kind of gets rid of oil. It kind of brightens up the under eyes. I totally remember Avon. Mr. Blen King, welcome. Okay, so don't be surprised if you see this in a giveaway. That's why I'm not going to open it and we'll keep trucking. This is something that I'm absolutely pumped about. So this is the Patrick Ta Four Lips Softening Lip Mask in She's Juicy. And let's see what they're proclaiming this little thing is worth. I just seen this. Okay, it says, 
Get baby soft lips with this ultra nourishing mask. Helps lock in moisture with vegan linoleum and an, an exfoliant blend. Looney Ben, I heard that is one of the best powders. I'm serious. You know what? I have not tried. Uh, no, I really don't feel like it. I've not tried Huda Beauty either. Believe it or not, as much stuff as I have. I really haven't. Okay, so this is the Patrick Ta, and they're saying he's $22, and she's juicy. So it comes a little wrap. Lynn, welcome, love. Okay, this is really nice. Odd Knuckle Sandwich, I'm not for sure. The Punisher, welcome. Everybody's like, baking, baking what? Punisher, it just is like you set powder on it, and the ladies call it baking. I don't know. Okay, y'all. Oh, this is one of those things that you touch. Okay, so this is really cool. So it says, Major Glow Softening Lip Mask. And you guys know I love stuff like this. I use pawns to take off my makeup. I still use pawns. Yeah, pawns is one. Of, I use the one with the mint green top. Punisher says so much right... Okay, so it's nice and full. I like that. It's got a little top here. This smells good. I don't know what... I don't want to open this because I've got my um, Laneige one. This has a... Um, I don't want to touch it. Um, This has a scent. I've smelled this before. Um... This has kind of like a vanilla-y type-esque, not too much menthol, but a little bit. But this smells really good. I really like, um, I really like stuff like this. I use these, I keep one on my nightstand. Um, this is what I use, and I got some of these for the giveaway. This is still the best lip mask known to man. This is the gummy bear one. Now... You don't have to use this at night. I use this all the time. This is still the best known to man to me. And I got some of these for the giveaway. And this year's Sephora free birthday gift is some of this kit. Okay. So I'm pretty pumped about this Patrick Ta. I've never tried Patrick Ta products. Okay, let's truck right ahead. Okay, so speaking of Huda Beauty, this is the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. Major volume and dramatic curl and insane length. Carolyn, welcome, love. Okay, let's see what this little bad boy is. Okay, they're saying this mascara is Yow, $27. So we're going to open it. says, Very Vanta Extreme Black. Now, I do want to try this. Um, guys, lately, I don't know what it is with my lashes. Um, they've just been so clumpy lately. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. So it's a dual-sided. And it says Legit Lashes. And look at this. It's like a little like a diamond. Now, I'm not going to open it because I want to finish what I got. Like I said, guys, Wicked Witch, welcome. If you're not going to open, or I mean, you're not going to use things right away. Yes, Punisher, exactly. Clumpy spider legs, yes. If you're not going to use things, like I said, don't open it. I probably shouldn't open that Patrick Taw thing, but I'm sure I'll get to that. It's winter. Okay, so it's got a dual-sided, and it's showing that here's the wand. So it's got the big one for volume, and then the little one you could do like your under eye. So I'm going to keep this. I'm pretty intrigued. Uh, $27 is a bit pricey for mascara. But, um, yeah, so I'm pretty pumped about this. Mia Mia, right? Okay, moving right along. Now, I'm not going to open this either. I have a ton of lip glosses, so I'll probably put this in a giveaway. 
or my grandmother or somebody. So I'm not going to, I will show you what it looks like. So this is the Rare Beauty Stay Vulnerable Glossy Lip Balm Nearly Mauve. And Rare Beauty is made violet. Welcome, love. <laughs> Jamel, right? So here's this. Again, I'm not going to open it and show you guys the wand, but um, I'll probably put this in a giveaway or grandma or somebody. It's a really nice mauve. It's kind of like a flat tube. So Rare Beauty is Selena Gomez's brand, and I think they donate, if I'm not mistaken, don't quote me, they donate, donate proceeds to mental health and stuff, so I do like that. So it's a lovely mauve color. You know what? I was looking the other day, Knuckles, at a colored mascara. My friend used to always wear um, uh, blue. So, yeah, I'll probably keep this for a giveaway. My grandma, right, Punisher? They got to stay vulnerable. Like, I don't want to be vulnerable. No, I'm sick of being vulnerable. So, yeah, so we got that. I'll probably put that in a giveaway or grandma or something. I've got plenty of glosses open right now. You know what is one of my favorite things? Brushes, brushes, brushes. Oranges, oranges. Welcome, love. Oh, excuse me. The gloss is twenty. Or excuse me, eighteen dollars is the gloss. They say it retails for eighteen dollars for the gloss we just looked at. Okay, so these are the Complex Culture All Angles Complex Culture Brush. These retail for forty-eight dollars. They say. Robert Grimmel. She had her mower. I had, like, we had to go to the hospital, like I said, to, um, you know, our one of our family members got surgery. So, you know, she's like, you'll ride up there with me. I was like, I'll ride up there with you. And um, she's like, I think I'm going to go home and mow the yard. Her mower was broken. It just got delivered back. She's like, I'm going home and mow. I was like, dude, there's nothing to mow, but all right. Uh, Curly, I have not. I had a really weird week last week and this week, so I am, guys. Yeah, Curly just uh, reminded me. Chilean, welcome. Um, I tell you what, when the YouTube money drops, I will get the post office box. I will get it. I will get that. I was going to tell you guys, yes, I will get the post office box. I think the YouTube money drops like the 22nd, 23rd. So when the YouTube money, I'm going to get Justice's box out. That way all the giveaway boxes will be out and then I'll get the P.O. box. Sound good? Oh, goodness. Yuck. Why are these jokers farted? Oh, my God. Jesus. Simon's like, if you don't want me up here playing, then I'm going to let one rip and jump off the bed. God, dog. Ugh. I see you down there, stinky. God, it like hits you. Violet, there's nothing to even mow. There's nothing like, and the whole way there, like the guy called me. And he's like, hey, heads up, you know, I'm dropping, you know, so-and-so's mower back off. And she's like, well, good. I can go home. But on the way there, she was talking, well, I want my mower back. When's it coming back? I was like, okay, Justice, welcome. We were just talking about you. Justice, when the YouTube money drops, I will get your box out a sap. Um, Justice, I'm going to email you tonight, though, your gift um, code for the um, Shutterfly. That way you can go ahead and get that going if you want to. Oh my gosh, she's candy. Yes, I'm going to get, I promise, promise, promise this time. We'll get it when I get, um, because I'll have to, you know, obviously go anyways to the post office. So I will get the P.O. box when um we get Justice's box out. Okay, so these two brushes, they say retail. Uh, these are made with reusable um, things. Yeah, Justice, as soon as the YouTube money drops, I will get it out. Okay, so I guess they're saying that these brushes... Wonderlust, welcome. Thank you. Complex culture. So these are made with reusable stuff. 
So you got, this one's kind of like a, like a contour or like a, um, like a highlight. That's, I'm sure, what I'll use it for. I don't really contour too much. So yeah, so you got this little devil here. These are really nice brushes. I really like these. They have a really nice grip to them. And then they got little sheaths that go back on them. So you just shoot. And then it keeps the shape and keeps them clean. So that's that one. Really, I don't think I've tried Bare Minerals um, mascara. I think I, I'll have to check that out. And then you get this one. This one is like a... Um, I don't know what the heck. I don't wear foundation and concealer too much. So this is like a hard compact. And it's like a... So I'm assuming like concealer... Man, I look rough. Good night. I'm like, back up, Kaya. Yeah, this is the Glam Bag X. It's like the um, the quarterly one. The Glam Bag X stuff. So this is like a firm packer type. Like a... Man, I look like shit. <laughs> anyway, so you get the gist. And uh, I really like... They're a good... I shouldn't have probably put that on my face. I should have probably used that... Okay, stippling brush. Thank you. I should not have probably put that on my face. Because I, I probably... Well, once in a blue moon, I do foundation and um, concealer. Okay, so I really like these. I am pumped. Oh, man, I look rough, Nikki. I'm not going to lie. Okay, and one more thing, and I'll show you a quick recap. This was a good box. The last box, I didn't even bother showing. It was all skincare. So these come, like I said, you got to be part of Ipsy. You can get the big bag or even the $12 bag. Yes, yeah, Steph, you could do that, Steph. If you just wanted to get like the $12 bag and get this quarterly, these $50 boxes are worth it. Okay, so last but not least, this is the Ofra Midi Palette Sitting Pretty. I really like Ofra. Yeah, Steph, so what you do is you opt in if you're going to get this or if you're not. It's $50 quarterly. And I like that you can pick. You can pick three items out of it. Now, I'm not going to swatch these. I'm going to be trying to. I'll probably put these in a giveaway. Yeah, it comes quarterly and you can pick, I think, three of your items. What did I pick? I really didn't want this, but it was the best out of the cat. I picked this. And I picked, yeah, the Ofra. I picked this, this. The pick categories weren't the greatest. And I picked these brushes. These were my three picks. I really didn't want um, the lip thing, but that was the best out of the category. I try to get things, you know, either you guys can use or my family we use other than skincare. I'm like, we've got so much skincare. So I'm not going to swatch these. I'll probably put it in a giveaway. Let's see how much this bad boy is worth. Man, these dogs stink. It's Simon. Well, guys, I'm not even seeing this Ofra thing on here, but um, I'm going to say... I don't know, probably 20-something, 20 25 bucks. See, I think Boxy's better. Ipsy's been all skincare lately. So you got a really beautiful highlighter, a nice blush here, and a nice blush here. And it looks like you can pop them out and this little case is reusable. Okra. Sorry, y'all. Yeah, it looks like you can pop these out and reuse them. Okay, y'all, let me put this back. I'll probably put this in a giveaway because I don't. So this is really nice, very sturdy, and it says... Pink Satin Soho Peachy Paradise. I used to think that always said Pink Satin. The satin when I was younger, the word satin. Pink Satin. Okay, y'all. So, that's that. So, quick recap, and then we'll scoot on you ahead. So, got the free refreshments for, you know, when my family signed me up. Came with a little bag here, so if you see that in a giveaway, Justice, don't be surprised, or somebody else. These are really good bags, though. So, you got the... Okay, so we got the Ofra. The Kenra Shine. 
Hey, there she is, our Natter's Drippy Badussy Nut Butter Sludge. Welcome, love. Good evening. Well, good late night. Great to see you. Looking fa- I gotta check out your thumbnail picture. Whew, looking great as always, man. Okay, so we got the Kenra. Got the nice little face thing. You had me cracking up, uh, Badussy, in a YouTube underground today I was watching. I got home and took a nap when I had got home from running around and back from the hospital. And uh, I kept hearing Yabba say your name. Okay, so the Huda Beauty Mascara. The Stay Vulnerable Rare Beauty Lip Gloss. The set of two brushes. The baking powder, as Punisher says, what? The Easy Bake and then the Patrick Toffer Lips Lip Mask. So we got three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight items. This was a good box. Sugar Bear, what are you doing? Um, this was a good box. You guys, I hate to say it, but I think one of my dogs have to take a dumpling. I really do. Yeah, see, Miss Connie, I didn't even get a palette. I would have rather had a palette than this baking powder, to be honest with you. Okay, let's see. We got, um, so we got the free refreshments. That was for signing up. This, this was just for signing up for Ipsy. Okay, so we got one, two, three. I'm pumped for this. They're going to love this as a gift. Three, four, the brush is five, and there's two in there. The Patrick Taw, six, seven, and eight. You guys, this was a banging deal for 50 bucks. Yeah, this was a banging deal for 50 bucks. Yeah, this was a good deal, I have to say. The last Halsey box was all skincare and liquid highlighter. Liquid highlighter is great for the summertime, but um, I'm just so pale. And, you know, with everything that's going on in the world, yeah, 50 bucks, this was a good deal, I have to admit. Um, I should have totaled up what the box was worth, but you get it. This was probably three-something, I would say. Yeah, this box was totally worth it. And like I said, you guys, what I like about these boxes is... is um. You know, it helps for the giveaway. It's high-ticket items that help us for the giveaway. You know, I can't go out and spend $35 on a powder to put in a giveaway. No, Eric, the last box I got had a liquid highlighter. Yeah, so, I, you know, this is great to be able to give you guys high-ticket items. You know, I'm not going to go purchase a $35 powder. Yes, Miss Connie, I will keep you posted. Um, what I'm doing is, is I've saved all my old mascara tubes to show you guys what, um, you know, what, um, the mascara wands look like what I thought of the formulation. So I've been saving all my old mascara boxes. Okay, um, I'm going to play a quick video, I think, for you guys. Um, one of these two is stinking. And I'm thinking that they have to go potty. I just let them out before, but they also had some kibs a little bit ago. So, um, I hate to run off, but one of these jokers is stinking. Okay, how am I going to do this? You know what, Stephanie T., I got this little Benefit mascara, and I absolutely hate the wand. Thank God it was a sci uh, a sample. I was going to say, thank God it was a psycho. Um, Really, Justice? Send them to the people that collect them for the wildlife. Okay. Well, I've been saving all of them. Yeah, that was a good deal for 50 bucks. And like I said, you can opt in to get like, they kind of give you previews. Like you could say, you know, um, I'm going to skip this box. Like, I think it's like fall, winter, summer, spring. There's four boxes throughout the year, these ones, the $50 ones. And you can opt out. And, you know, if you see the spoilers, like the last Halsey box, I should have skipped it. 
But I thought this is good high ticket items for the giveaway, so I got it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to watch Barbecued Chicken, the channel. Barbecued Chicken really covers. You guys, don't even get me started right now. She, Mr. Wiggs, do you have to potty? Do you have to poop? I think you do. Foodie talks about the Travis Scott concert, and I wanted to just... Okay, so before we get started, I just want to say something. A, hit the thumbs up. It tremendously helps us. And B, does anybody recall that Foodie was talking about wanting to go to the weekend concert? Does anybody recall that? Does anybody recall that Foodie wanted to go to the weekend concert? Okay, now if you guys do recall right quick that when Foodie wanted to go to the weekend concert, it was very, very heightening with what was going on in the world. Now, remind you, the Astro World was an outside concert. Now, again, there's still things going on in the world. I totally get it. But the Astro World was outside, the weekend concert was inside. Now, I know with what's going on in the world, you could, you know, catch it inside, outside, the closeness, depending, you know, if you're close to somebody, it doesn't matter. But, in my opinion, I do feel like that it is way safer if you are going to go to a concert. Monica, welcome. Monica, it is 2.41 a.m. and unfortunately, I took a um, nap. I had a bunch of things cracking today, and I got home and took a nap. Uh, yes, the Astro World I think, was supposed to be two days, but the second day got concert. Or, the second, I think it was either two or three days, but the second day did get canceled. Now, like I said, you know, it's not really safe to be in tons of crowds of people in general, but if I was going to go to a concert, and I most had to go, I would go to a outdoor concert versus a indoor concert. I think that's a lot safer, in my opinion. Okay, so Barbecue Chicken, let's give them a thumbs up. Thank you for the video, as always. And this has the highlights of today. And then I'm going to go let Mr. Wiggs out right quick, and I will be right back. Okay, always show your channel some love. So I give it a thumbs up, and then I even thumbs up my own comment. All the traction helps them. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to let them out separate because they won't poop if they, like, they concentrate. And then they're not going to want to poop. They're going to want to hang out together. So, guys, I say give me about four, five, six minutes. Um, when they have to use the restroom, obviously, pee, they can go together. But when they have to... Wow, did y'all see that white went... Did you see that? Um, when they have to use number two, take a dumpling, I make them go separate because they, I've got some notes too I took down, we'll get to, um, but yeah, they like to mess with each other, so, that way, um, you know, they don't bother each other. Nice, Elizabeth, that's awesome. Okay, do, 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 do. Okay, so again, the channel Barbecue Chicken. I'm coming, Mr. Wiggs. I'm coming. I am a coming, little buddy. Okay, volume up. Do, do, do. Let's pull on their intro is the best. Say, Mr. Wiggs, say you told me did I want to go potty. Come on, honey. Say you told me did I want to go potty, honey. And we'll get back in the office. Um, I just kind of, you know, wanted to come on here today and kind of give you guys an update. But we'll get back in the office and get back to normal, too, this week. Come on, Mr. Wiggs. I don't want no scrubs. What did you guys do here? A scrub is a man who sits in my passenger side listening to Arabic music too loud. Trying to get gonorrhea medication from me. Okay. I need a coffee! Okay. So, I'm trying a new thing now. 
Okay, I Should think this let's is go just potty. a... Get down. It's a more Come on, let's go potty. Get down. Like facial sure, get down. That I can, you know, get down, let's go potty. Like get down, girl. Like, uh, Damn it. That I can do Come here, on. so it's a bit more... Um, Come on, Chug, get down. Personal. So yeah. what happened was... Get down, let's go uh, potty. Natter uploaded a get video... Get down, Chug. Uh, last night, or okay. last... Good girl. Uh, yesterday. It was a new video, oh, and God. apparently... Uh, Chantal helped him out with the editing and with the filming and stuff. He was being pretty uh, oh, verbally abusive. Like, he was being very angry when Chantal didn't answer his question, like, in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And uh, he went off. You know, smart Chantal doesn't know the logging info of his account. Logged into his account and went on base, Bay, Bay Nation or whatever mm -hmm. channel. And uh, did an oopsie. Um, may have been accidental. May have not been accidental. Who knows what we're tall. That's what happened. And I'll show the clip here where she says that she messed up uh, editing the video because she left out some parts that needed, didn't need to be left. So, um, yeah, I'll play the video here in this clip. Honey? Yeah. But he, do you put vanilla in it too? Yeah, I said you one thing. I don't go for it. I mean, I'm asking you this and this. If it's to you, honey or me, what's your? Use the honey. Huh? Use the honey because he used it last time. Doesn't matter. So you, you like that, this pillar? No, honey. I will eat both. I'm not I know, okay. So as, honey. as a person, because me, I don't matter. Yeah, I'd rather tr keep everything the same as you did last time. <laughs> Because you put this afternoon, I don't care, that's why I have. Whatever is gonna work with me. If it doesn't work with me, believe me. Okay, I fucked up bad. I let I really fucked up. Buying groceries. Actually, I bought a lot of groceries and I just said whatever, like I was gonna bring them to my house and I'm like, I don't, I'm not gonna cook them. They're gonna rot. So I might as well do groceries and edit this video and I get a meal out of it, right? Bitch, are you dumb? Pardon me? Are you dumb? I think she's I dumb. I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. Are you, dumb. like, medically speaking, are you like, like, I'm not trying to be mean. Like, are you dumb? Are you, d I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. I think she, you oh. think she's. She's dumb. I think people, I, I know you guys are going to expect me to like backtrack, try to backpedal everything I've just said in the past few days, but I'm not going to because I'm not stupid. It's not, I mean, yes, there's a lot of drama with us and we fight and on camera, blah, blah, blah. Because I'm impulsive and I can never shut my mouth. I got the groceries. Cooks good food. I like to eat it. Now, so the deal was, it's like a business transaction. I'll cook the food. I get a meal. Or he's like, like he cooks, I get a meal. <laughs> and he's looking for an editor. But I edited and like accidentally left it apart. And I'm, whenever I see that, we were watching it and I'm like, oh no. It's going to look bad. Because it looks like we're like fighting or whatever. But that's like... Honestly, we weren't even fighting or anything there. Like, that's, he talks like he's very animated when he talks. Just like someone said in the chat, uh, that wasn't animated at all. He was being very aggressive. He talked uh, the same way someone would talk to someone who they hated. That's not okay. He was being very, 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 very. It was, it was very strange. I don't know why you would lose your temper about someone not hearing your question once he talks a lot with his hands and like like if you actually listen to the context he was actually like and i'm not excusing like because honestly if he does something shitty you know i'm gonna come on here and like yell about it like i always do this was like asking me like like if i you know what i mean like asking me my preference so it might sound like in a mean way but he was actually like trying to like make sure i liked something that he was making so, like, honey or syrup, and, like, I changed the subject without listening. And you guys know I do that, you know? So, anyway, I just wanted to say that. I'm not, like, just trying to smooth things over, but I know people are talking about it. Actually, it didn't take long. Like, I think, like, <laughs> I put out a video.
video, and then like 10 minutes later, I think I've seen like on his timeline, like FFG's reaction to it, or like the part that was cut out. <laughs> so I was like, okay, like, whatever. Anyway, so that's what happened. I know you're not going to believe me, so, but if you do, good. Hi, guys! Oh, sure, cut me off. I need to go to the bathroom. Blocking spree incoming. I'm not blocking you, you wish. You can be as mean as you want, I don't care. Actually, I expect backlash every time I do this, so I don't... Do I like it? No, obviously not. I prefer you guys to be happy. I feel like we're in a toxic relationship. Let's break up. I treat loyal members badly? Why? What are you talking about, Trixie? Did I do something mean? Ugh, oh, this bitch. The link to join Matt Chantel's foot. Well, figure it out! I, I mean, I get people being upset. You have to realize that anything I do in my life is not... Like, there's people who actually think I'm doing anything, everything on purpose to scam people. Ah! Sprinkles. No, I'm not lying. Like, I don't understand. Like, I guess I, we have different definitions of a lie. No, for real. Like, I don't feel like me the other night when I was upset and, like, it's over. And actually, it is. I'm not in a relationship. Like, I'm not in a committed relationship with him. Fucking mean. Just go in the store and leave us in peace. Like, I'm just gonna go, I'm just, you know what? I'm just gonna start my live streams and not be in them. How about that? He's also just really mad that I talked about him. Like, really mad. So he wants to go on live and talk about me. I'm, I know, our whole relationship is fucked up. I never meant to come on here and just, like, play with your guys' feelings. Actually, that really bothers me. That's something I didn't realize. How it affects you guys. So I am sorry about that. Chantal, you've said this multiple and multiple over and over and over and over multiple times. There's no, I get this and I'm sorry. Because you keep doing it repeatedly. When you are sorry, you try to not do it again. It might happen once or twice, but not over and over and over again. You At this point, you just need to do stuff. And actually, I do care about how you guys feel. Trixie, he wanted me to go live at his house and not, like, go live at his house. And I said, no, like, I'm going to go home and be with you guys. Because I do respect that you guys want to be just with me. Man, the chat wasn't having it today. They were giving it to her. What I don't get is uh, why they keep coming back when they are fully aware of what's going on and of what's going to eventually happen. <laughs> Was I ever told no as a child? Not often. I mean, everything I had planned, I can just do tomorrow because today is not tomorrow. Which means today I can drink cannabis drinks and bees all day. Why am I an asshole? Oh no. Paint my nails. She's gonna throw up. Oh, yep. Right onto, uh. No! And now she's eating. Careful that. You want some or you wanna give your stomach a rest? Hey? You have puke on your face. <laughs> and I just kissed her mouth. She could use a quick trip to the, uh. A new checkup? So that, yeah. Alright, alright. If she's so old, she. I do take. I took her like last year! I don't think you're supposed to take them more than once a year, right? Probably like every six months is uh, probably... No name chips? It's probably like, every six months is probably the ideal. Six months? Like I said, that's probably, I would guess that that is probably the ideal. Cats over 10 years should be seen twice a year, really? Makes sense. Like I said, I doubt many people actually take their cats to the vet. I didn't even take my grandma to the doctor twice a year when she was geriatric. That's a weird flex, bitch. That's a weird flex. Weird flex. But a cat. Oh, the Travis Scott. What's the... Who the fuck is Travis Scott and who cares? Uh, he's, uh, some... Some singer. And, uh, he had a show that went... He's some singer. I'm not afraid of Natter. Like, people die at the show. I'm not afraid of Natter. I'll beat him up with my little ponies. I'm not afraid of Natter. I'll get out my samurai sword. Who's Travis Scott? Oh, I guess he had a concert. I don't know, Chantal. But I'll get him with my little ponies. 
This was in a Happy Meal the other day. And I was going to donate it. I was like, oh, I got an idea for this before I donate it. I have no... No, you need to take your vet. I didn't take my vet or cat to the vet every six months, but you should, Chantal. And I'm not afraid of Natter. No, I'm not. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I got this in a happy meal the other day when I tried to make myself eat. I'm a real man. I'm a real man. I'm a real man. I have no idea, Punisher. It came in a happy meal. Okay, so that was fun. Never a dull moment. Sugar Bear just broke her lead because there's a wild CAT that I've got to call the Humane Society about. Come here. Come on. Over here. Park it. Petri dish. <laughs> I'm a real man. I'm a real man. So I'll tear that thing up. Yaba's new soundboard. Yes. Yeah, so this came. You cannot fix your brain. You can fix your teeth. Look, she's like, he's a real man. Okay, he's not a real man. Okay. <laughs> Tracy, I'm all right. Yeah, this came in a happy meal, and I was going to donate it, and I was like, we're going to use this right quick. Okay, let me grab a drink. Okay, you're a real dog. Now scoot over. You have to share some space. Oh, gosh. Sometimes you just need a good drink of water. Oh, my gosh. Yaba with the real man on the soundboard had me cracking up. I'm a real... Oh, Sugar Bear's over it. You're a real dog. Okay, okay. You're a real dog. Get over here. All right, come on. You're a real dog. I'll put it down. Okay, let's put this down. She's over it. She is over it. Petrie, over. Come on. Come on, Petrie. Petrie, over. Petrie, get over here. Petrie. Scoot over. Scoot over, you're going to get down. Scoot over. Come on. Pete, quit being stubborn. Look at her. Watch. Over, Pete. Come here. You got boxy charm piece. Come on. You're a real dog. You're a real dog. You got... I mean, your eyes have been goopy. You're a real dog. You're a real dog. Yes, you are. Say, I'm a real dog, mommy. You are a real dog, okay? I know you are. You're a real dog. Come on, you gotta scoot over or you're getting down. Come on, we're right to the good deal. Or you're right to the good parts. Petrie, over. Petrie, one. Come on, Pete. Thank you. You're a real dog. You're a real dog. Okay, let's get back into the good part. I have got to take this case off this tablet. This thing is filthy. Okay, so I am back. Perfect timing, and it is about to get juicy right where we were talking about. Yes, I have got to get this cat out of here. There is a wild CAT. I've never seen it in the neighborhood. And she just busted her lead, and I'm like, fan freaking fantastic. So, I'm going to have to find this cat, if I see it, and get this thing out to safety. Say, she's a real dog. Oh, my goodness. We got to get back in the office. Say, I'm a real dog. Say, I do. Say, I'm a real dog. Say, I will bite, honey. Say, I will bite somebody. Say, I will bite somebody. Say, do not show me that thing again. I will bite it. Okay. Yeah. Hold There's on, y'all. Like, nine people died? Why? Like, what? what's the reason? Did someone shoot the concert? Like, what? Yeah, it's just like, I guess... People like, being dumb. Yeah, basically people being dumb. Like, I guess there's just, like... Stampeding and crushing and just... Bad shit. Stampeding for what? Like, who is this guy that he's worth a stampede? Like, is he that popular? I've never heard of him. Um... Lots of people have never heard of you, and uh, you consider yourself a celebrity. And someone told her about a pathetic fax being taken down uh, because of Amber, because Amber copyright struck her, and she's talking about it. So, was it a big channel, and what were they doing? If you're just re uploading our content, then yes, like that's not really that's not good to do because that's stealing people's videos.
I would just re upload her content and made more views than her? Well, then, yeah, that's like, come on, guys. Like, that's not right. <laughs> You're basically stealing people's content. You're not doing anything. Yeah. Like, what's transformative? Like, pick your pick to talking topics or transform the video. Okay, so this was on our notes. Let's take a quick pause for the cause. Now, her attitude lately, well, super lately, has been just driving me crazy. First off, dude, let's talk about your community tabs. You're talking about who is Travis Scott, nah, 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 worth a stampede. Dude, the other night, okay, you went to sleep, you were wasted, greened out, woke up or didn't go to sleep one or two 3 30 in the morning you guys the other night she had a community tab and said oh that's better with her and natter remember the picture with them with the wine and put the weekend's face there i'm like get out of here so don't act like you don't sit here and wash up bands now I've got something interesting to talk about right quick, and we'll get back to it, okay? Now, again, I know this is a sketchy topic. I know some people believe and some people don't believe, okay? So, I was talking to a friend the other night, right? And I was doing research on different things about how we talked about going down the rabbit holes of, you know, different things that they feel like some music can be tannic and things like that. Bingo, bango. Guess what song popped up and maybe we'll watch it after this. Guess what song popped up and they say that it is a song of worship to the devil. Now again, I know this rabbit hole is... You know, some people believe in things like this. Some people don't. But lo and behold, what song popped up on this video that was watching, that I was watching, that was talking about songs that have different meanings that could be, oh, we're just justice. We have to, you guys are never going to believe what song popped up. You, you're never going to believe what song popped up. Somebody take a guess. Stella, bingo, bango. But what song were they specifically talking about? What song popped up by the weekend? What song? Say, call out my name. That song came out on a video and I was like, holy bat shit. I was sitting there talking to a friend on the phone and we were talking about different conspiracies and they said that that song, welcome Terry G. They said that that song, I'm just telling you guys what I came across. Calm down campers. I am just telling you what I came across. They say that that song, call out my name is part of a, they're saying it's not like call out a female's name. They're saying that it's call out a... Sorry, re my pad. Sorry, I'm like... I just, you know, I'm very handsy. But yeah, they were saying that the call out my name song is not like call out a female's name. It is saying call out... Yeah, wasn't that weird too? Yes, Miss Connie BBY. I, I know that some people don't believe that, but I was just, I was like, I got to tell them about this. So maybe we'll check this. Sorry, guys. You know, I'm very handsy. Sorry. Maybe we'll check that out after this. Renee, I thought it was too. They're saying that the bats, I never seen the video of the song. They're saying that, um, I know Mia Mia. I just kind of wanted to talk about, you know, what I came across, just kind of put what I came across. As. They're saying that the bats come out of his mouth. That why would the bats have anything to do with being heartbroken? When he says, call out my name. And then the video bats fly out of his mouth. We'll check it out after this if you guys want to. I think I might know where it's at. I'm not for sure. But I just wanted... No, and I get people reaching. I just, I, I wanted to tell you guys what I found. That's all. 
I just wanted to tell you guys, yeah, this is only for entertainment. I just thought that it was weird that that, you know, I came across that. Yeah. Yeah, and I get, you know, it's reaching, but I, I just like to tell you guys what I come across. Yeah, I just thought it was interesting. Thank you, Tracy. Yeah, I just, I was like, I'm sitting here just chilling and I'm kind of down and out and I'm doing research, you know, and stuff. And I was like, wow. So, yeah. I don't know. But anyways, okay, back to what I was saying. I got sidetracked by the bats. Sandra, I think Sandra's behind. Sandra says all that for $50. Yes, Sandra. Refresh. Sandra, are you behind? Sandra says all that for, I think Sandra might be behind. <laughs> okay, so back to what the video barbecue chicken was talking about. So this is my conspiracy of why I think Amber Lynn is going around striking channels. So if you don't know, yeah, somebody might tell Sandra to read. I think Sandra's a bit behind. She's like, all that for $50? I'm like, wait a minute. We've been way past that. So, Amber Lynn has been admitted it. She admitted it because at first I was going to talk about it. And I wanted to make sure, you know, Kaya's, Kaya's got herself into trouble jumping the gun and, you know, with strikes. So, Amber Lynn admitted to striking the channels herself. So, a channel called Apathetic is being deleted. It's, they got three strikes and they're out. Now, in my opinion, she also, um, she also struck, um, Orco. If you guys don't know, Orco TV is our great detectiveness. In my opinion, you guys, Orco puts commentary with it. That is what I think. Tracy, I'm going to get to that. Orco, in my opinion, I have not seen a video from Orco that is not transformative. What I think, like Tracy just said, Christmas is obviously next month. And what has everybody been watching? Everybody's been watching Chantal. So in my opinion, this was to stir up drama. That's what I think. This was kind of the ploy to kind of... um. Yeah, the Orco thing really pissed me off, Amanda Dawn, to be honest with you. Um, everybody has been watching Foodie. I don't know, Peach Cobbler. That's, that's what the word on the street is going around is. That's what the word on the street is. All the big channels that have went together and talked about this says that Orco is one of them. Again, I'm not for sure. This is all alleged. I want to put that out there. Oh, wow, you guys, it's pouring. I just got the whoopee dogs in on time. Sandra, are you good to go? You're like, I'm like, I think Sandra might be behind. But anyways, I want to just make this clear. EP, welcome. If she did strike Orko, I'm pretty sure that Orko has a... Sorry, Stella, my bad, sorry. Um... I think Orko, if I'm not mistaken, only got one. Okay, he put out a response today. Thank you, little Aussie. Okay, Apathetic's new channel is called Pathetic Content. Okay. She denies Orko. He said so himself. Okay. Well, anyways, I'm not quite for sure. Like I said, this is all alleged, but I just kind of wanted to put out there what I had heard through the YouTube streets. And, um... I think that she did all this to kind of, you know, pull the reins back in and everybody had been into foodie. Her views had probably been down, like Tracy just said, Christmas is around the bend. Her views are not, you know, as good as they used to be. So do I, Reverend. I think so, too. Foodie's getting all the attention, and Amber's like, hey, pick me, pick me. It's Christmas time. I've got Wipey or somebody out here to buy for. Okay, Polly B, welcome. Welcome. Okay, so let's get back to the video and uh, keep trucking. Man, I'm glad I got them in perfect timing. 
Karina, welcome. I really like Orko. Now, see, that's the thing that, you know, the really thing about the, you know, as you guys know, Amy's life journey struck me a while, while back. The thing with, you know, um, the copyright, this is what I think. I think you should be able to use your YouTube name and then when it does, if they say they'll sign off to go to court, then when you get the court papers, then it has the government. I think that is a way, I think that it's, that's what sucks about the system is, is, you know, you've got to obviously, you know, give your name and a lot of people do that just to get your name. You know, they don't want to go to court, court, art girl, welcome. You felt the animal welcome. Um. Anyways, I think a lot of people do that to try and get somebody's name. And, yeah, I can't watch Amberlynn anymore. I can't. I really can't. I can't. I, I, I watch all those channels. I cannot. Thumbs up, guys. It tremendously helps. Um. Wow. Chantal's second to last broke up. She pulled in a good... And that day, and that are pulled in 800. I don't understand. Um, I don't understand what these people super chat foodie in. Oh, I'm glad you left. You guys, foodie's not going anywhere. I've said this a million times. Until Natter says it's over, foodie is not going anywhere. She's Brookie Cookie. Welcome. Um, Renee, I think this is, again, just my opinion. I think, in my opinion, Amber is striking people to kind of rein in the reins of everybody's been watching Foodie, stir up drama for Vlogmas, try and get that good, good Christmas money. Jocelyn's mom, welcome. Um, yes, Brookie Cookie. I did, um, was it the one where she was just saying, hey, you know, thanks for being there with me, guys, yada, yada, yada. Thanks for your support. Um, I don't know what to think about that whole May situation. Like I said a while back, you know, a couple weeks ago, we're really gonna kind of, it's not neither here nor there. Andy, welcome, love. Um, it's really not neither here nor there for me to say yes or no. Now, I do think, again, these are only my opinions, and I am a, you know, victim of sexual abuse. Um, and again, let me tread lightly. I know everybody handles things different. But I just think it's weird that you would go to YouTube yeah, I think so too, Re. And I hate to say that. I just think it's weird that you would go to YouTube before the police. No, she uploaded one a couple days ago, very mad, saying she's going to the cops in Canada and us. And he's... Okay, I only seen the one yesterday. I just, it was like a couple, like, hey, thanks for being there, you know, with me. Thanks for being there for me, yada, yada, yada. Um... Again, like I said, I really want to tread lightly on this. You know, if it did happen, I don't want to be, but it's just weird, you know, it happened. This is where it's going to get sticky. May is, you know, allegedly in the U.S. and, of course, you know, Natter and Foodies in Canada. And again, I know that everybody deals with things different, but. Going back to the U.S. and then reporting it after is really going to make for a hard case. It really is. I would not have, you know, I'm just putting, this is me talking about in my shoes. Um, if it would have been me, and again, just saying me, I would have reported it in that country before I left. Now again, you know, everybody deals with things, you know, different. So I don't, I really want to tread lightly, but, um, I don't know. Like I said, so let's move on from that. Um, exactly. Bella Wolf. And that's another thing, you know, a lot of people, Chantal's money. Welcome love. A lot of people, 
a lot of lawyers, no matter whatever kind of case you have going on, a lot of lawyers want you to keep the information contained because therefore it can mess up the case. You know, so I, I, I don't know, you know, but I do think alleged, you know, again, these are just my opinions. Foodie should have stayed out of this completely. Foodie should have stayed absolutely out of this 100%. Male, female, whoever, you know, your partner. I get people want to stand by their partner, but Foodie wasn't there that night. She obviously doesn't know the details of what happened. Foodie should have stayed her out of it. 100. Foodie making that community tab saying, oh, don't believe this lady, yada, yada, yada. That made me mad. It's like, you weren't there. You don't know what happened. You, As we see, you know, little crybaby the last couple days. You know, you're talking about his phone, yada, 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 and messages. You don't know exactly what happened. Welcome, AG. But uh, anyways, you know, long story short, that whole situation is, um, you know, like I said, um... I hope justice is served. If it truly happened, I hope justice is served. But like I said, you know, I just, I don't want to stray too much into that. But I will say Foodie should have kept her ass out of that. No, uh, I don't really feel like it. You're absolutely right. They're going to be like, why did you upload all these videos? And, you know, I don't know. Like I said, it, it's a weird. And again, everybody handles things different. You know, what What you or may, me may do may be two different things. So, I don't know. But I guess only time would tell and we will find out. And maybe we'll never find out. Um... Yeah, so let's keep trucking. Let's get through this video. And um, so anyways, long story short, Foodles is MIA at this point in time. Yes, she inserted herself in the case. Exactly, Jocelyn's mom. And I agree, EP. I really hope that the truth comes to light. Um, I really hope that this, you know, I'm not saying I hope that it happened in any shape, way, or form. I'm, I'm not saying that. But I really hope that this just wasn't a ploy for some kind of YouTube drama. I really hope it wasn't. And again, I'm not saying that I wish, you know, but, but the whole thing is a mess. I mean, it. Mandy, welcome. So did he go to the hotel? Um, I'm, I'm not for sure, but if you go back, it looks like Member Foodie said... He asked me, did I want to meet a fan? And then, I can't remember, you guys. Let me know. It's been a wild, you know, couple. Didn't she say he was only at the hotel a couple minutes? That the footage, yeah, Nikki. I think Foodie even said, he, because remember I was like, well, it doesn't matter. It only takes a couple minutes, if you guys recall, when we covered it. Yeah, Nikki. I think I remember saying, exactly, I think I remember saying, what well, it only takes 10 minutes. Yeah. Because she was like, well, he was only there for 10 minutes. And I'm like, worse things have happened in less than 10 minutes. You know what I mean? So, okay, I do recall when we were covering it, talking about that. I don't know what to think, y'all. It's just one big storm. Um, okay, let's get to trucking. Um... Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, okay, much less can happen in 10 minutes. Yeah, any... Man, anything can happen in a minute. Exactly, Saren. I agree. Um, The whole thing is just... I don't know, man. Like I said, let's move on because... um, You know, that, that that's a tough topic to... uh. Sorry, you guys. Like I said, too, we're gonna we're gonna get back in the office. You know, this was kind of just getting in the swing of things tonight, and just kind of um, 
you know, we'll get back everything back to normal, too. I know this setup is jank even more than our other one. Okay. Thank you guys, too, for being, you know, with me through all that's been, you know, going on. I know it's not, you know, easy topics that we've been talking about. I know that it's, you know... I've been going through a lot, so thank you guys for being there for me. I know that it's been, you know, a lot, so that's why I just wanted to come on, you know, positive vibes, you know, keep, you know, just tonight, just pretty chill, light, open up the box, BS, kind of talk about what's going on, and, um, you know, we'll get back in the swing of things. I'm still kind of getting my feet wet, and, um... You know, I'm still kind of feeling some sort of way, but, you know, I figure it's better than laying here stuck in YouTube land by myself, and, but we'll get back to things. We've got plenty of things to unbox. Um, I think I, you know, fixed what was up with my phone. I think the memory, it wasn't backing up on the iCloud. Pagan, welcome. So I should be able to get these Sephora and Alta videos up. I might drop them tonight after that, but we've got plenty of things coming up, honestly, um, videos that I've made of, you know, Sephora and Alda. So, things we've got. I got the Jacqueline, Ra Jacqueline Roxanne piece of jewelry the other day for us to review. Um, so, thank you, guys. We'll really get back in the swing of things. Knock on wood. Like I said, I got a family member that just had surgery. Let them get healed up and, and hope to, you know, whatever you believe in. I just want things to calm down. Um... And again, like I said, there's some rogue accounts out here. Please don't believe, you know, anything you hear, you know, or see about me unless it comes from, you know, me clearly. Okay. Thank you, guys. Let's get to trucking. Uh, people like Charlie, I don't find them transformative at all, actually. I, I, like, there's reaction channels you can tell they just don't like the person they're talking about. Like, they're just bothered by the person. Like, people like Charlie, FFG, like, she hates fucking that or whatever. Sorry, this damn thing is So do I. So now look how she rolled. Now Pete says, "So do I." When they say that Charlie, or excuse me, that FFG doesn't like Natter. Now look when she rolls her eyes. It's clearly about Pete's. I noticed. Now look when somebody calls it out. She lies and says, "Oh, that wasn't for Pete's." Now watch this. Watch this, literally. You can clearly tell she was rolling her eyes because of what Pete said. Like, dude, say it loud so the bat can hear you. She lies about everything. She can't even just, you know, be like, Pete, stop. You're adding to the drama, but watch. She, she... You're stealing people's content. You're not doing anything. Yeah. Like, what's transformative? Like, pick your pick to talking topics or transform the video. But people like Charlie, I don't find them transformative at all, actually. I, I, like, there's reaction channels you can tell they just don't like the person they're talking about. Like, they're just bothered by the person. Like, people like Charlie, FFG, like, she hates fucking that or whatever. The parent. So do I. So. Uh... <coughs> oh, shit. No, I didn't. Oh, yeah, I rolled my eyes, but not at Pete's. Not for what Henry was saying about the situation. Oh, look at my lip. What is that? <laughs> It just came out of nowhere, like, a, an ashy to, like, the tin, maybe? Because I held hostage. No, because I didn't, there's no ransom. Live weigh-in. I did weigh myself. What did I weigh again? 340? Yes. I weighed myself after I pooped 340, but I wasn't naked. And yesterday, midday, I weighed myself I was 344. I was actually really tired last night, and I didn't feel like doing it. And I took the time to do it. I even muted parts that needed to be muted, and I accidentally left in a part, and that's it, that's all. I mean, it didn't look bad, right? We were just, it's just like people bantering at each other. When I'm on live talking to you guys, I let you guys get in my head. Whenever I'm with him, in his bed, I let him get in my head. And it's just like a constant, and then I have my thoughts. And everyone else. I'm sad because I guess I do feel a bit underappreciated a little bit, that's all. You feel underappreciated, but you continue to put yourself in the same situation. I really, I really don't get it. Uh, like, I don't get that. Do you value matter over everything in your life? And do you value nothing? Why do you say that? No, I'm serious. I don't, I don't, 
I don't know. Fucking, I don't like men anymore at all. I'm becoming a lesbian. Zoom. I'm one asshole away from fully becoming. I really, really, really just want it to work because I've invested already so much time and emotion into this person. I feel like I'm forgiving until I don't love you anymore. I feel like this is why he doesn't want me to go live when I'm by myself because of what I say. Obviously, if I'm with him, I'm not going to say these things, right? But it's not, I don't talk about this to like talk bad about him. I'm just, I'm just venting my feelings. Yeah, you do. And I honestly, I don't do any of this for money. Like, I don't. Believe me, I wish my channel was on a more positive note. So full of life before he came into your life. You were so happy being the oldest ever. Thanks, Shay. Even, yeah, even though I was like, I wasn't happy. If you don't remember how mad I was in the throes of my food addiction and everything. Dude, you still been eating, dude. Hi, guys. You went to a cafe the other day. You went to a diner. And then you left and went to Starbucks. And then you talked about getting gelato after. Your food situation is still in the reins. He said you eat three to four times at his house. Pete's is just like her, Mia Mia. I agree. They are birds of a feather. You know my motto. Birds of a feather flock together. Your food situation is just the same. Kai Bear, welcome, love. Welcome, everybody coming in. Yes, her eating, thank you, Danish. Her eating has just been the same. It's back to normal. Oh, hold on. We got, okay. Time out. Spooky, welcome. When she, do you guys notice this all the time? This drives me absolutely crazy. And I'm going to tell you all what I'm eating over here. And I've been... I made beef stew yesterday with the beef, and it was freaking fantastic. But this is the absolute best Burger King burger I've ever got. It is called the Bacon King. This thing is fantastic. Once in a while, I like a good burger, and I never go to Burger King. This is one of the best absolute burgers I have ever had, I'm being honest. And I'm not a... Probably twice... Maybe once every three to four months. This burger is absolutely fantastic. It is called the Bacon King, and it is amazing. But if you notice, she goes to the diner the other day. Oh, Katrina, it is so good. I'm not going to lie. And it's so big. Like, I have been nibbling on this for probably... I ate this before I fell asleep and then heated it back up. This burger has tons of bacon. Sorry, guys. I hate to show you things. But it's got so much cheese. It's got so much bacon. You really get the char broiled from the burger. It is a really good burger, honestly. I did not, Jocelyn's mom. I was up. I had to go. You know, I have the things going on, you know, with everything. And then a family member had surgery and I've had so much going on. But, um, I got an impossible Whopper. That's bunny melon. That's usually what I get from Burger King. If you guys haven't tried the impossible Whopper, it is so delicious. Um, yeah, I got one of those. I planned on eating this earlier and saving the impossible Whopper for later. Impossible Whopper is absolutely amazing. If you're in a pinch and you don't eat meat, I have a buddy that's vegan and vegetarian, and that's the only, like, you know, I'm in a small town, so we don't have a lot of, you know, cool vegan fast food places, but um, it is really good, and I'm hip to it. That is what I get, but if, you, yeah, Kai Bear, if you just don't, you know, want meat one day, the Impossible Whopper is fantastic, you guys. So, listen to this. So she goes to this freaking diner the other day. Scarf and you guys, she eats the same in public. She's literally like, wipes her shirt, licks her finger. I'm like, grabbing big old bites of poutine. She scarfs down this food at this diner. Goes to diner by herself, scarfs down this food. Now she's driving around aimlessly, aimlessly, Trying to decide what she wants to eat. What I think it was, it was the day she was arguing with Natter and wanted him to apologize. I think she was driving around to see if he would apologize and go back there and eat. That's what I think. So she goes to this diner and she leaves the diner, literally. She's eating this 
you know, she's literally, you know, mowing down this. She gets out of the diner. She's like, that was absolutely disgusting. Carolyn, it did look gross to me. The gravy looked very dark and it, it wasn't my jam. But here's my thing. If you're scarfing it down, you said in the diner that it was good. And then you get out of the diner and you say it's bad. Which is it? What is it? What is it? And then, like I said, some sauce hits her shirt. She literally rubs it and then licks her finger. I'm like, you eat like an absolute maniac. Here's my thing. You know, she's been on this big thing lately. Exactly, Punisher. You were scarfing it down in there, but now that, you know, she said, oh, it's good. And then she got out and she's like, it was gross. What is it? Here's my thing, too. You think that you can buy people with money. You think just because you have a couple bucks that, you know, you're this big catch. I said this a million times and I'll probably say it a million more. If you got on the internet and drugged me and talked about our whole relationship, money or no money, I would be out the door. She doesn't understand what is wrong. It doesn't click to her. And then the other day, she's crying about, I don't want to break up with him. Dude, he broke up with you. In my heart of all hearts, I also believe that BB told her, yes, this isn't working. I don't think we should be together. But as you know, in the video that she showed us, she broke up with BB. I, in my heart of all hearts, feel like BB said, look, this isn't working. I don't, I don't think, you know, anymore that, you know, our relationship has slipped away. I don't think this is working. But if you ask her, she broke up with him. Just like the other day. Oh, I don't want to break up with Natter. I still, dude, when somebody breaks up with you, that is not you breaking up with them. She is so narcissistic, in my opinion, that she just can't take the blow of somebody is breaking up with her. And again, like I said, leave Natter out the equation. She comes on here and spills the beans about everybody. Maybe BB didn't want people to know where his family was from. Maybe BB didn't want people to know his sister was there. She absolutely throws out all this information about people. Just like all these story times, I completely believe they're fake. But you're devolving all this information out to people that you would clearly, you know, obviously you have no shame in your game. We figured that out. But you are getting one here and spilling the beans about everything. She doesn't understand. I know, Stella. I think, you know, she still says, you know, yes, I agree, Mia Mia. I think Pete's is the only one she's broke up with. Yeah, I was like devolving, dev devolving, my bad. I was tongue twisted there, but, um. And I think that too, EP, I think his money is starting to roll in. But here's another thing I wanted that I had on the list. She was in Bay Nation's chat earlier. And she was logged in under Natter. Check out YouTube Underground. Um, Yaba has the screen clips of it. She was logged in under BB's account. I still believe that that account is under her name. I do. I still believe that, um, I still believe that that account is under her name. I truly do. All right, y'all, let's get to trucking. And, um, I think she's over there now. Um, I think that basically, in my opinion, or excuse me, Natter's account. I'm sorry, you guys. Natter, sorry. She was logged on under Natter's account and was in Bay Nation chat. And she was like, oh, my bad. That was me. Um, I think that things are going to be... Um, 
I mean, you guys, like I said, take Natter out the equation. She just, she do, she says everything. She says everything. Uh, Tight-eyed hippo, she basically was like, oh, how was your vacation? And everybody's like, wait a minute. And she's like, oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. I was under Natter's account editing his videos and I was still logged in under his account. Now, again, she could have his password, have, you know, but I really think, in my opinion, and then Pete's saying that too. Pete's slipping up and saying, you know, somebody said, why don't you make a foodie? Did, Bebop, welcome. Did you see under the credits of his last video he spelled his name? Yeah, see, I think it's foodie. I think it's foodie. No, Brookie Cookie. I, I, maybe she did. I don't know, but I, I think it was a careless. She was still logged in under that. Stella, I don't think so. I think that she is getting, you know, the money and divvying out or. You know, here's our YouTube money, here's your share, yada, yada, yada. Sarcastic, welcome. Oh, I hope you feel better, Sarcastic Jay. I hope you feel better. Um, I don't think Peach just said that, in my opinion, as... Because remember, people were like, well, why don't, you know, you get under Foodie's account? And Peach said, when well, Natter's under her account... I don't think Peach just made that up. I really don't. I think he let it slip out the bag that day. All right, let's keep trucking. The sandwich is spectacular. Mm. You guys, I am not a burger kind of girl. Like, I like homemade burgers. This burger is fantastic. I ha I can't lie. Kelly, welcome, love. Kellner, welcome. This burger is great. And I'm not a fast food burger type of girl. It really is. This is one of the best fast food. I, honestly, I can say this is probably the best fast, fast food burger I've ever had, honestly. This burger is amazing. It really is. Oh, goodness. We got to get back in the office and get back. Yeah, this is one of the absolute crab apples. Welcome, love. You're good. We're just having a chill night and just kind of yeah usually you know and punisher you know how it is with fast food sometimes it's so hit or miss you know some days it's good some days it's gross but this burger is absolutely amazing i cannot lie i'm impressed for a fast food burger um it's from burger king it's called the bacon king it's very fresh um the bacon's nice and crisp. It's not floppy. I don't like floppy bacon. The cheese is nicely melted. Whatever sauce that comes on it is really good. No, Dawson's bomb. I'm. It, it's delicious. It's a really good burger, honestly. I have a Discord, but it's like a personal one. So, so everyone thinks I did that on purpose because that's what he thinks too. So, if I'm honest and open about how I feel. I was very hurt by how he talked to me. So I feel like I'm just kind of trying to play it off. Like it's nothing, but it did hurt me. Especially after being tired and trying to do something nice for you. I guess I'm just more sad. I just wish things were just different. He said he used to do coke. Then he's fucking lying, because I don't. I'm not the kind of person to just be like, oh, well, you treated me like shit, so I'm going to leave you. Gee, here's another thing I noticed, you guys. Who that? Welcome. I was trying to do something nice for you. Uh, Kristen M., it's a channel called Barbecued Chicken. It's a really good channel. Yeah, it's called Barbecued Chicken. Now, if you notice, every time it all boils down to, I was trying to do something nice for you. I was doing this for you, that for you. Why... She really thinks that you can buy love. 
if you notice, it always boils down to what she says is what I've done for you. What I've done for you. Who that grandma's doing pretty good. Uh, one of our family members had surgery and they're doing good. And, you know, today her mower came back from getting fixed. So she was going to mow. I'm like, please don't tear up your mower again. Go ramping over tree stumps. But if you notice, it's always about what I've done for you, what I was going to buy for you, yada, yada, yada. She doesn't understand that love is not about buying somebody stuff and it's not about everything, you know, intercourse. Foodie relates exactly, Stella. Foodie relates to what she can do for people and she also relates affection is... You know, oh, well, he had intercourse. That doesn't mean somebody loves you. That doesn't mean somebody loves you just because they have intercourse with you. Pine dry. I'm not like that. I don't care about race and color or whatever when I'm dating somebody. Ooh, that's a good one. It came in a ribbon. It came with their tags. I think I weigh more than a sumo wrestler. I'm not even kidding. I do have the same hairstyle. I know. You don't like embalming fat bodies. I'm going to go to embalming school and only embalm skinny people because I'm too lazy to do it. Fuck that. I'm not. I'm going to use all the embalming fluid and I'm not going to feel bad about it. Okay? Okay. He thinks I left it in because... Doesn't trust me because of all the times I went online and talked crap about him. He thinks I left it in to be like, see, I can fuck up your life by editing your videos. Kind of I thing. see how welcome, okay. love. Like, I, like, that actually hurts. I, like, like, he thinks I'm like his enemy. <laughs> and like, all I've ever done... Is, you like, are. All I've ever done is try to make him happier. So, let him find some other editor if he doesn't trust you. It's pretty simple. D, welcome, love. Flies, you're not going to I hope you're doing good, D. I really do. I hope everything is good. Well, you know what I mean. As good as it can be in the circumstances. But, um, welcome, D. I really think that Again, I just said it. She really thinks that it's all about what she can do for somebody. She still doesn't understand that it's all about how you treat somebody. And she thinks just because you buy somebody stuff, you know, you get on here every other day or almost every day this week and you talk sh about him. Like I said, you know, leave, you know, Natter out the equation. I'm sorry, but I'm not standing for somebody dragging me on here every day. And, you know, then she's like, well, you talk, you're mean to me? Exactly, Peg. And that's exactly what it is. And she doesn't know how to control her emotions. Thank you, sarcastic. That's another thing. If you noticed her eye movements in the diner, and when she went in that little coffee place to get a little coffee, her people skills, she is so awkward. Now, I get that, you know, you're not going to be, you know, comfortable around every stranger you meet. Like, hey, what's up? But you guys hear me in the store, like the other day. And I, I'm going to put it up, too. I got to put it up. Matter of fact, I'll put that up tonight. I did a Cools walkthrough. I don't know if it's just the vibe that I give. People talk to me all the time when I'm at places. I seen this little old lady looking up that light up candle at Kohl's that I showed you guys. And she kept looking at it and she's like, eh, do I get it? And do I not? And I said, you know, I have one and I'm going to tell you they're very nice. You know, you know, you can take the Christmas stuff off the bottom and you could use it for, you know, other um, holidays or keep it out, you know, all year round. And she's like, thank you. Um, she has no people skills. She has no, she's very awkward. Angel Cake, welcome. She has no just basic everyday communication skills. She really doesn't. Um, and then somebody, I, I think it was this video. Um, I think it was this video, if I'm not. Yeah, she's not approachable. In that diner, she just kept looking like, and people would talk and she's like, but, um, I think it's this video, if I'm not mistaken, in the beginning. I'm not for sure, but somebody makes a comment in the chat and says, um, I can see your family never told you no as a kid. And she's like, no, not really. 
She doesn't tell herself no. Oh no, is Eric Eric? Are you all right? <laughs> she just um Applejack's was at Monty's a while back, I seen, guys. If that's the same one we're talking about. Um Anyways, long story short, she just has no, no, Eric, and I, and I know not everybody's a people person, but even just, you know, if somebody makes small talk with her, she's like, uh, 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 like, even in the Starbucks thing, you know, the line, she's like, oh, you don't have extra sprinkles, oh, like, she just, I mean, hold on, y'all, we're losing, man, I just charged this up before I got on here. She just, and I'm not saying this to be mean. I'm really bad to say something, and I'm not saying this to be mean. I'm really not. Her life is a mess, and I'm not saying mine isn't. Let me, let me make that very clear. But, um, good night, tight eyed hippo. Good night, love. I'm not sitting here saying that I'm not a mess. I, I want to make that very clear. But she has zero coping skills at all. She really doesn't. I think... Let me not say that because that's mean. I've had a lot of things you guys know happened in the last couple months. And I'm not, I'm going to say this, and I really am going to try and word it as nice as I can. This chick barely cried a teardrop for her grandmother. She, every time that her and Natter fight, is, oh, I'm grieving Timbit too and my grandma. D, I agree 100%. Exactly. And that's D. That's what I think it boils down to. Here, have this. Have this burger and go. Go play. Or go eat. I think it was one of those. Exactly, Punisher. And it's everybody else's fault. It's everybody's lies. And it's everybody else's, you know. Um, she really just has no accountability. She just does not have any at all. Um, yeah, D, I think that's exactly, you know, here, go take this cheeseburger, go on, you know, or, you know, they didn't, I really do feel like, and a lot of people have said this before, Angelina, welcome, love. I think that when Chantal, and again, these are only my opinions, I think when Chantal's sister was born, oh, excuse me, that it was a strive for attention. Chantal, KK's Corner, welcome, love. Chantal is obviously the oldest child. I can only imagine. I can only imagine what her sister probably went through. That probably shook Chantal. You know how people are with it. And, and, and I'll tell you guys, you know, a story that, you know, if you know, it, it didn't affect me because I knew, you know, my little niece. I had a niece born with, she's lucky to be alive, honestly. She truly, tremendously is. Um, I had a niece that, you know, was, had very serious heart issues when she was born. So, you know, when my niece arrived, I mean, she was just, everybody, you know, was up at the hospital when she got out. Everybody held her. Um, she was always very small when she grew up because of her heart issues. She was always the baby of the family. Now, I knew that, you know, my niece obviously had health issues. But I guess kind of what I'm correlating that at is, um, you know, I can only imagine that, um, Yes, SL, she was a preemie and she had heart issues. So, I mean, she was just literally, um, I mean, she's lucky to be alive, like I said. She really, truly is. But, um, 
I can't imagine, you know, Chantal just having a sister, you know, arriving. And, you know, guess what I, this kind of what I was getting at was, you know, you know how people are, oh, let me see your baby or how old your newborn baby, you know, and that probably shook baby Chantal to the core, you know, because all the attention's not focused on Chantal. And, you know, I, I do think that even, you know, her, her strive for, um, angel cake, I'm not for sure. Oh, wow, Renee. Well, I'm glad you were here with us. Hey, sorry. My bad. I should have never put that. Um, sure, Bear's like, oh, that's going to be a good burger for me. Pete, you cannot have my burger, Pete. But, um, Chantal just, the universe has to revolve around Chantal. And I do believe, you guys, I heard something earlier. Whose chat was I in? Oh, Lindsay with an A had a really cool chat tonight. Uh, Tiffany Gray was on there. And I think Princess Alyssa or Fit and Curvy, if I'm not mistaken. I got to go back and watch it because Tiffany Gray did a Kaya impression. I want to go back and watch. But a uh, long story short, I never heard this, you guys. Sean Toll used, and again, this is all a legend. Okay, it was fit and curvy. Thank you, Justice. Justice, I'm gonna laugh when you get stuck with one of these wild names. Um, oh, I was gonna put on lip gloss, but I better go. Wait till I'm done eating my burger. I never knew this, and I heard this tonight, allegedly. Sean Toll used to use the restroom behind the trash cans at school and take a poodle. Had anybody else heard that? I had not. I didn't know that. Yes, Carolyn. On um, Lindsay with the A's channel, Tiffany did an impression of me, and I want to go watch it. I was going to watch it before this, but I couldn't find it. So I was like, well, I'll go live, then I'll... Maybe we can find it after this. I never heard of it either, but I guess that's what word on the street is. You heard it too, D. Why? Something's not right there. Pete said, okay, thank you, Bebop. Bebop said Pete said it on his live. Yeah, see, Angelina, that's what it, you never really hear of any trauma. She said that, um... I remember her saying a while back about some kids threw some tomatoes at her or something. But I, I mean, I mean, again, that's, you know, something for hard to kid go through. But I mean, when I'm talking trauma, I'm talking like hardcore, like, you guys know I've been through some shit. And I'm not, you know, don't want to keep comparing me. But when, when I think of trauma, I think of, you know, abuse abuse, you know, a bad family past, you know, um, that's kind of when I think of trauma, you know, you were young and maybe lost a family member in a traumatic wreck or, you know, your family member, you know, died. You guys know what I mean by trauma, trauma. Like I get, you know, it's not cool for kids to throw vegetables at you, but I don't again think, you know, you know, we're, we're, we're talking about a weighing scale here. You can say, you know, physical and sexual abuse or getting tomatoes through at you. There's really no comparison. I mean, I'm not trying to be mean, honestly. But, um, so back to the dumpling thing. I mean, what is it? There's something there. Um, yeah, Bella, and, and I get things like that, you know, every, you know, but, um, the poo thing, the dumpling thing is still going on to this day. Chantal said it on his live. Thank you, Bebop. Um, I think there's something with fecal. And, and again, I'm not saying that to be funny. Angelina, I seen that too where Shannon said she never knew about the um, tomato thing. But Shannon also said that... Um, Shannon moved there, you know, she wasn't in school with Chantal. Shannon moved there after a while. So maybe it was before Shannon. I don't, I don't know. I'm just telling y'all what, um, <laughs> yeah, tomato trauma. And again, you know, I'm not, you know, that's not cool for kids to do that to other kids. But like I said, you know, 
we've got at a weighing scale, you know, serious trauma or, you know, having vegetables thrown at you is, again, exactly counter. And that's, you know, what, yeah, was this, was the tomato trauma before the quinoa trauma or after? Um, the tomato story is mentioned in a truth video. Okay. Um, but anyways, I do think there's something, the fecal thing is still continued. Um, you know, like Bella just said, maybe, you know, she didn't want to go to the bathroom, you know, with kids being in there, you know, I don't know. But unfortunately, this fecal thing has still continued. Did you guys hear the story the other day? I meant to touch on this too. Yes, Cozy, I agree. There's something, okay. I wanted to touch on this the other day and I had it in my notes and I forgot. What was she talking about the other day when she went into the bathroom? Dee, thank you, love. I'm glad to see you're all right, honestly. Thank you, Dee. Thank you. I missed you too and I'm glad to know. And sorry, Dee, I usually check in with you and it's just been like, sh guys, if you've emailed me, I am totally behind on my emails too. I just want to make that... Um, I am so behind on everything. So if you've emailed me, you know, know that I'm not ignoring you. Um, okay, so what is up? Thank you again, Dee. So what is up with this? Now, the logistics of I don't see how this can really work out, but I'm going to, we're going to discuss it. What is up the other day? She said that the bathroom that she went into didn't have toilet paper. I forget. I don't know if, where did she go in at? So she says, now this is where I'm confused, okay? This is where I'm confused. If there's no toilet paper or tissue... So she says she rinsed her caboose off in the sink. How in the... Okay, KK's Corner said it was a Starbucks. Okay, thank you, Knuckle. How in the ever-living... And yeah, Looney Bin, that's what I was going to end that too, Carol. Thank you, Danish. If she made this up, what... She, I don't think she understands. You're making up these stories that they're just not shedding you in a good light, Sweet Pea. <laughs> they're just not shedding you in a good light. Real, fake, false fiction, if not, if it's real or if it's not. Or girl, that's where I was going with this. And yes, Angelina, my thing is, if it's real, if it's not, you're not shedding yourself in a good light, buddy. You're not, I don't want to be known as shitty girl on YouTube. I don't want to be known for that. I'm known for a lot of things, you know, um, exactly, Brookie Cookie. It's still weird, and you're still talking, literally. I don't, I'm known for a lot of things out here and, you know, I've got a bunch of, you know, people, you know, on our trail right now, but I don't want to be known as the shitty girl on YouTube. That's not what I want to be known for. Um, I just, I think, um, no, I really don't like it. I think that is what I think. Um, if you notice that we got a lot out of that live that Pete's did when people were asking questions about her. He said that she's, you know, always known to over-exaggerate or, you know, hence kind of story tell. Um, I think she thinks it's funny. But, um, it, it's truly not funny. I don't think she, and that's what the other day she's like, I'm such a catch. I'm such a catch. Dude, 
okay, let's just say she meets Joe Blow on Tinder. And Joe Blow, you know, she says, hey, Joe Blow, you know, I've got a YouTube channel. My name's Foodie Beauty. If I am Joe Blow and I go look at these videos and I see, first off, this is my thing. And Yalba was talking about this earlier, too. And I'm going to be on this like white on rice, too, if this goes down. This Kiwi Farms thing, if Kiwi, they go... Now, again, I know that there's a lot going on with the farms and your girl. I, you know, know, but anyways, um, you know, not everybody seems to be against me, you know, but anyways, if Kiwi Farm, or excuse me, if this, um, uh, news place does an article on Kiwi Farms and does not it's my theory that I don't understand why people don't like. There's a million gazillion YouTubers and people on social media. Okay. Doesn't it connect with anybody that, you know, says, let me check and see why this girl has 50,000 threads. Let me see why there's 50 different reaction channels on this one person. Let me see why. This girl, Maggie, welcome. Why does this girl get so much hate compared to people on the internet? Or so much static? Doesn't that cross anybody's mind? Twinkle Toes, welcome. And if this article fails to leave out, Lorraine, welcome, love. If this article fails to leave out her, like Yaba said, her driving. Thank you, Angelina. Thank you, love. If this article fails to leave out why she has all this traction. Uh, no drama, Grandma. Um, Kiwi Farms is like a forum. That like, kind of like a Reddit type deal that discusses, um... I don't really know how to navigate the farms or really kind of know how to explain it. It's kind of like a forum site where people talk about different things. But, um, I guess there's like a news source, uh, she hasn't said it yet, that is doing an article on Kiwi Farms and on Chantal. And she said it today that they, I think it was today, wait a minute, was it today? That, um... I think it was today. Was it today? Anyways, um, that they want to come take her picture for this article. Now, here's my thing. Why would it... It's not connecting to them. Why is this girl... Um, why is this girl getting all this, you know, static? There's a million gazillion different, you know, YouTubers and people on social media. Doesn't it connect to these, you know, outlets that, um, that, why is this girl getting, it's like you would think they would do the backstory of, you know, okay, why is this girl get so much static? Why has this girl been in so many different things? You know, that's kind of... As a news reporter... I agree, Belladonna. I agree. But somebody is over there on my bumper and they need to stop. Yeah. I, Mia Mia, I don't know. She won't spill the beans who the... Um, she won't say who it is yet. She probably isn't allowed, honestly. Because an A, she probably knows if she spills the beans and knows what article it is. Um, that people are going to be like, hey, let me know. Uh, let me tell you why we're, you know, everybody's on Foodie Beauty's trail. You know, that that's probably and probably, you know, she's probably not allowed to tell the information. Because I would probably say, you know, people are going to contact and say, hey, this is why this chick gets so much, 
you know, drama and action and conflict and static is because of the things that she does. As Yaba was talking about today, you know, what about her driving with her eyes closed? What about her driving on substances? Are y'all going to talk about all that? Good night, Erica. That's what I don't like about things like that. You know, what What I feel like is, is, um, Charity, I don't, I don't know who it is. I've got all kinds of fake accounts out here and just somebody just, I don't know, somebody going around making racial comments and accounts in my name and just all kinds of stuff. But, um, Tracy, that's what I was getting. I feel like the, the people are going to be mad if this, um, people are going to be mad if they just shine this and all oh, people are, you know, just bullying this one girl. It's like, hello, there's a million different YouTubers and a million different social media people. Why are so many people honed in on this one person? You would think that they would say, let's go through and see why so many people. You guys, Chantal has almost 90,000. No, Frosty, I would never think it's you. It's not me. I'm new to you, but maybe the troll is at times, but not a Kiwi. And that could be, yeah, I, I'm not, you know, I'm just saying what I've seen. That there is, you know, things floating around on the farms. It may not be a Kiwi... Um, you know, I, I'm just kind of, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's necessary. I, I think, I think I have a good idea. I don't know who it is, but I think where it sprang from, I think it sprang from Halloween is when things started to kind of, Halloween is when shit kind of started getting, Have you seen Fiddy's doc that Toad McKinley did? Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, Todd, the Toad McKinley documentary is fan freaking tastic. Yeah, Frosty, I don't I don't know what's going on. I think it springs from Halloween is when I kinda gather when shit really started hitting the fan for me. Halloween is really when Somebody started kind of, I got on somebody's radar. No, Frosty, I don't even, I, I, I think I have a good idea, but I'm not quite for sure. But it, it's all good. It's all good. Um, It's all good. Yeah, I just, you know, the, the only thing that I, you know, I don't know. Let, I don't even want to shed light on it. Let's keep trucking. So anyways, long story short is people are going to go bat um, exactly the rain. That's what I was just going to say before we finished up this video is um, all frosty. I don't, I don't think it's that the things they're doing. If they had a crush on me, they surely wouldn't. Uh, yeah. If they had a crush on me, they surely wouldn't be doing the things they've been doing. That's not a way to get at my heart. Um. Anyways, long story short, is if this article comes out and, um, you know, um, if this article comes out and it's just made to Chantal to look like a princess and the rest of us are all out here just picking on poor baby Chantal. Jocelyn's mom, good night, love. Yeah, and I'm going to get it together. Like I said, I just kind of tonight came on here, figured we'd kind of, you know, catch up, you know, talk about what's going on this week, kind of get, you know, back in the swing of things. Get We'll get back into our regular setup, get, you know, things going. But um, I'm telling you, if, if this news article, people, they're going to hear from all sorts of people probably if it just makes... um. Yeah. Yeah, if it just makes her, you know, Chantal look like a baby angel, people are not going to be happy. People are not going to be happy. Exactly, Cozy. And that's another thing that people were wondering about, you know, what really is the article about? You know, is it going to go in her favor like she thinks? 
Okay, wait a minute. Yes, now that you're talking about this, I wanted to show these. You guys, the other day, ever since we talked about turtles, I got some turtles. They were buy one, get one free the other day, the Russell Stovers. You guys, these suck. I'm going to be honest with you. They're not horrible, but they don't have any pecans. They don't. So, unless you absolutely cannot find any other turtles, and these just, they were buy one, get one free. That's why I thought I'd take the plunge. These just don't have any pecans at all. They really don't. Right? Um, they just don't have any pecans. They really don't. Um, now, I, I do think, you know, it was a good deal. Yeah, Brookie Cookie, it's not bad. Yeah, we got Ladybug Imposters and Pecan Turtle Imposters. Now, it was a good deal for the, um, you know, buy one, get one free. Exactly, the rain. Like, we got to have pecans in our turtles. So... If you guys see these, now if you see them on clearance, you know, maybe Christmas clearance, they're two, three dollars a box. That's a steal. That's a steal. But if you see these and they're, you know, yeah, they're not worth it. Now, again, if you catch them, you know, Christmas clearance, two, three dollars a box. Um, Neff, welcome. Yeah, it's just, I'm... Yeah, so I'm going to say the Esther Price still is my top pick, and they were almost the same price of this. So go with the Esther Price. If you can find the Esther Price or you've got your favorite turtle brand. Now, like I said, if you hit these on, you know, you know how stuff goes on clearance after Christmas. Um, You know, if you can find these for two, three, four bucks a box, they're worth it for that. But don't pay. I paid nine ninety nine because they were buy one get one free. Now a I had never tried them, and b I paid the nine ninety nine because it broke down to five dollars a box. But I'd never spend that again, even on the buy one get one free. Yeah, they. I don't know. For five bucks, I guess they weren't going to be too bad. But I'd never buy them for ten dollars a box. Hell no. No way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> pecan delights minus the pecan. So, long story short, Christmas clearance, they'd be worth it. But I would never. $10 for one box? Hell no. If you see them for two, three box on two, three bucks Christmas clearance or buy one, get one free. If that's all you can find, not bad. But Esther Price still knocks these to the dirt. Get this character. <laughs> yes, you cannot have turtleless pecans. You cannot have beef minus or stew minus the beef. Okay, you guys, I got a pee pee in the kitchen. So let's, yeah. So if you see these, they're, you know, on sale. They're definitely something to snack on, but, you know, not worth 10 bucks. Yeah, no way. Yeah, she's like... Look at her. She's freaking hilarious. Hold on. Petrie, you're so daggone cute. <laughs> she's freaking funny as shit. Shirley, welcome. Okay, you guys. I got a pee-pee in the kitchen. Minus, don't wash the hand. Yeah, she's just like... And then, um, yes, Tim Tams are good. They're not that great. I got something for us to try the other day. Actually, I don't even know um, if I should tell you. I was going to use, um, I was going to use them for a parody. Okay, I have got to pee. 
Yes, P minus wash the hands. Okay, I'm going to leave y'all with this to play, and I will be right back. I've been talking for the last couple minutes, so I'm like, man, I got to pee. Yes, nobody wants a nutless freaking... A nutless... Um, yeah, I keep saying... I, I think I might do a parody with these things that I got. They might come in handy, but I'm not for sure. If we don't use them for a parody, I'll show you. Right? We might have to, Maggie. We might have to. Yes, this channel is Barbecue Chicken. Oh, Angeline, I'm naked-faced. I look rough. I wasn't going to come on, and I, I, I fell asleep earlier after I ran around and did what I was supposed to, and I was like, well, shoot. You guys know I never come on here naked-faced, and I was like, I got to stop being so freaking, you know, thinking I got to come on here all suited up and... Up to him. Which you seem okay, to not be bad. able to do. Oh, God, it's... No, we're done. Yeah, it's like, oh, you ruin any chance of a relationship with me. And if you keep going... Me, 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 me. Yes, All you. about me. <laughs> <laughs> me, me, me. My CPAP's here. See? Oh, Sonny, I gotta pee. <laughs> hi, say hi to it. Hi. Say happy, Maxie. I don't know why some are longer than the others. <laughs> I'm gonna do, like, one of those mustaches that's, like... I hit puberty, but I also drank too much Mountain Dew growing up, and now my balls only half dropped. The curtains match the drapes. <laughs> oh, I do look like freaking Ron right now. <laughs> no offense to him. Trilogy. It's a pajami. You said the kitty
Burger. Burger. What did you do, Burger? Okay, guys, I am back. Sorry I took so long. I had I figured I'd go behind the local convenience store and take a dump and go behind the dumpster right quick. No need to apologize. Oh my god. Did you hear that? It said no need to apologize. Oh my gosh, it says sorry I took so long. I figured I Oh my gosh. Okay, so totally off topic. I've been wanting to show... Look, no need to apologize. Goodness, get that off there. Okay, totally off topic. I wanted to show these the last couple days, and I've had them setting out so I could finally go put them... These are fantastic. They're the bounce, and they've got to be with the Febreze. The Sport Odor Defense. You guys, these dryer sheets... Oh, these smell so good. They're the Sports Odor Defense. Yes, and I did not wash my hands, so they're good to go. Full of germs. I'm touching my dryer sheets. <laughs> These are so good, you guys. Oh, Petri, your mouth is wet. Have a seat, Pete. Lick your lips. Thank you very much. Oh, my goodness. Yes, these are dryer sheets. Carolyn, dryer sheets, you just put them in, like, your dryer, like the scent sheets. Yeah, they just, you, they're like the little sheets that you put in the dryer and they just give scent. My bad. These are great. These are the Febreze with Odor Defense. And these are, <clears throat> they are so good, you guys. These, you know, some dryer sheets just kind of, yes, they're like closed dryer sheets. My bad, Carolyn. I should have just, um, these just, with the Febreze and the Odor Defense, these smell so good. You only need, like, I'm like, I maybe put, yeah, I, um, I usually use, like, two or three. With these, you need just one, and they are fantastic. They really are. So, if you guys see these, the Febreze, again, the Sport Odor Defense, these are great. I'm usually not a picky, oh, Pete, you got everything all wet. I'm usually not a picky dryer sheet person, but um, these are on point. Good night, Cozy. <laughs> right, Lorraine? Me too. I have been stacking up on... But these... Um, Simon is down in his bed. Yeah, he's down there chilling. Yeah, if you guys see these, they are... No, I'm being honest, Frosty. These are great. They are like a hardcore, not too like intense. They're like a very fresh. They're not um like a perfumey. They're just really good. So I've been wanting to show you guys. I had them set and I'm like, now I can finally take them down there. Petri dish. Get comfortable, Petri. Yeah, these are amazing. Yes, and like KK, make sure you clean your lint things. What I do is I'll take my sheet after and I'll go across my lint thing and use it to pick up the, um, yes, always clean your lint things. Petra, you got my blanket wet. But yeah, what I do is I'll take my sheet after and I'll clean out the, um, oh, that's a good idea for synthetic wigs to take the fake shine away. That's a good idea. And I found these on sale. Yeah, I got these on sale. So I was like, yes, ma'am. So, all right. So, basically... She is something else. Petrie, are you tired? You look very sleepy. Are you tired? Yeah. Are you saying hello to everyone? Yeah. Are you a good girl? Say, I'm a very good girl. I love you too, Pete. Oh, Sam, I'm just a baby. I always tell her that, watch. She's just a baby. She's just a baby. She's just a baby. You might have to go to the doctor. Your eye's been kind of gunky. Your eye's been kind of gunky the last couple days. Or are you just your eyes watering? There you go. There you go. Say no more gars. She has um 
She's a pit bull bulldog bully. So she has kind of, you know, like the bulldogs get like the crinkly eyes. She has like, you know, with her wrinkles here. See, I have little bulldog eyes. So I have wrinkles on my face, mama. So I have bulldog eyes. Oh, scratch your belly. Look at this little white patch she's got. See, she's grumpy. I always tell her that. Say she's grumpy. She's grumpy. Your mouth is all wet. See, you guys, why well, I have another blanket that I let them lay on? Yeah, I put this blanket down, and then I got my regular blankets underneath. I have this for them to freaking slobber and get their wet mouths and say, she makes a mess. She does, but she's okay. She's a big girl. She's a baby. That's what I always tell her. I say, are you grumpy? Are you grumpy? Say, I'm not grumpy. I'm tired. Are you grumpy? You're grumpy? Okay, she's grumpy. She's grumpy. Oh, scratch her belly. Scratch her belly. Scratch her belly. Scratch her belly. Say, so we've got to get our toenails cut. Her toenails were so easy to cut when she was younger, but now they're brown, and I can't tell where the bloodline stops. Cheryl S., welcome. Okay, Cheryl, I hope your doctor... Yeah, this is Sugar Bear. I hope your doctor's appointment goes good, Cheryl. Uncle Buck's quarter, welcome. Yeah, look at her. She's like, oh, she says she's sleepy. Says she's grumpy. You guys have trashed this quilt. Say we gotta wash this thing. Says she's grumpy. She's a biggin. She's a biggin. You know what? She is literally her first day is so clean. She is so easy to give a bath to. Did you hear? She went. Rrr. Yeah, she is so easy to give a bath to. Her fur is so easy to wash. Simon, on the other hand, he's like... Rrr. He tries to hide in the shower curtain. Oh, it's a mess. Yeah, Sugar Bear does so good getting a bath, but Simon just... Oh, my gosh, I dread it. I'm not going to lie to you. See, I like baths, and I like water. Say he doesn't, does he? He don't like baths? You do like baths, huh? Say, I love to go swimmy. Say, I have my own swimmy pool, don't you? You do have a swimmy pool, don't you? She has a baby pool that she loves. You have baby pool? You do love swimmy, don't you? I know you do. She's got this little white patch here. Oh, here comes Mr. Wiggs. Fishing, welcome. Well, hello there. What are you doing? I see ya. Are you going to get up here and be a good boy? Sugar Bear wants to go to sleep. She doesn't want to play. He's like... Okay, let's see if Old Foodles has arrived. What are you doing down there? Yeah, so long story short, you guys, this week... um, Did anyone see... Pizza's live when Sean Tall came in. The filters were working hard. I did not. Uh, P says, I'm getting in my bed. Sugar Bear don't want to play. I'm getting in my bed. Okay, let's see. God, you guys. Never ending month of no this nope. video of hers is 5 hours, 28 minutes, and 31 seconds. Good night. Okay, so yeah, 13 hours ago. Yeah, 13 hours ago. 32K. She has been banking on the views lately. You are a joke has 43k. Really frosty. I wonder was it tonight? I wonder if we should check it out. Mm 
watch. Wait, okay, maybe we'll check that out. That'll give us something to take a gander at. You can tell underneath the nail where the nerve starts. Really ham and rum. Oh, well, uh, she's got muddy. It was starting to sprinkle. Okay, let's go ahead and take a gander. Okay, let's look up Pizza Mind and see if somebody's got a clip. Nacho Mukbang and How I Met My Best Friend. Hey, if you're going to be a good boy and come up here and be a good boy. You guys got this bed absolutely disgusting. Come here. Stop, Mr. Wiggs. Leave her alone. Be a good boy. Be a good boy, honey. Be a good boy. Oh, I love you, too. Look at him. He is something else. It's the Nacho's Mukbang and How I Met My Best Friend. Look at this thing. Will you be a good boy? Can you do that? Say, I not be a good boy. Kaya, the spot where her nails speak of is the nail quick. I'm sure there are video. Okay, awesome. Just saying has it. Oh, yeah, here comes instigator troublemaker. Look at him. Look, see, this is why I call him Wiggly. Because he's a wiggler. And he just would look at him. All right, all right. You're being bad, honey. You're being bad. Oh. Okay, water weight and ju All right, hold on. I'm trying to control this beast. Simon, please stop. You're going to get down in your bed. Come here. Do you want to get down in your bed? You don't, do you? I love this damn dog. I love you too, guy. You're being bad, guy. All right, come on. Stop wiggling. He is something else. Sarcastic, you have... Yeah, he is a stubborn boy. And he just does whatever he wants. Oh, he's a sleeping guy. Look at him. See, he's a baby. He is a baby. He's a baby. Will you leave her alone? Can I talk to the people... Why you get yourself under control? I'll kiss him. I will kiss him. All right, come on. All right. Come on. Get back up. Simon. Okay, water weight and just saying. Simon, you're going to get down if you don't leave her alone. Yes, you are. You are going to get down. Okay, fantastic. Foodie Beauty crashes Pete's video. Watch both them at the same time. Okay, that's it. You're going to have to get down. Look at him. Mr. Wiggs. Mr. Wiggs, you're going to have to get down. I hate to do it to you. All right, get your wiggling ass down, because you don't want to listen. Get down, Mr. Wiggs. Either get in Mr. Wiggs' bed. Mr. Wiggs! <laughs> if you'll be a good boy and set up here, you can stay. What do you want to do? You don't know what you want to do, do you? I love you, too, but you're making a mess. You're all freaking slobbering. No. <laughs> All right, we're getting down with this mess. We're getting down. We're getting down with the mess. That's what we're going to do. We're getting down with the mess. You don't want to be a good boy, and you don't want to be a good boy, you fat thing. Oh, he runs everything. Stop. Get out of his wiener. See, she gets mad and then goes for his wean. All right, get down. Get down. Come on. Come on. Look at these two. All right, get down. Get in your beds. Come on. One, Simon, Simon. 
She listens. He's the one that doesn't. He's freaking bad. Look at him. <laughs> Mr. Wiggs. <laughs> Stop. All right. Get down. All right. Come on. Everybody get in their beds. One, two, three. Look, he's like, I don't care. Look at him. Mr. Wiggs, you're being bad. Stop gnawing on her. That dog on it. Simon. <laughs> Look at him smiling. All right, Mr. Wiggs. <laughs> down. Get down. Now. One, two. Get in your beds. You guys have trashed this blanket. Yuck. Golly, they are something else. Freaking mud and slobber and... Yeah, they're like... We don't care about Chantal. We've heard enough of this shit for months. How is our stand? Why does... Hold on. Simon, knock it off. She doesn't want to play. He's like, oh, I'll just go down here and act a fool. Right, knuckle sandwich? Oh, he just... Everybody's like, oh, the... I'm like, no, the Frenchie is... The Frenchie runs things. Hey, Simon, you'll hear him. That's why I got to yell in a minute. He'll get annoyed or she'll get annoyed and he'll be like, yeah. Yeah, he plays with her. And then when she plays back, he gets all aggravated. And then he'll, Simon, Simon one. Simon, you're getting in trouble. All right. Yes, that's what they need is a water bottle. Simon, you're going to the timeout. He's like, timeout where? <laughs> yes, Boston's are the same way. Simon, be a good boy. She doesn't want to play right now. Let's go upstairs. I'm getting away from you. <gasps> oh, they just knocked. Hold on, you guys. Simon just knocked over the fan on him. Simon, look what you just did. Hold on, y'all. God, dog on it. Simon, you're being destructful. Look what you did. You're lucky that it was falling, you Because I was going to go back. You got the bed all moved out. No, I don't want to. Mister, here, get in your bed. Come on, get over here. You got a sugar bear's bed all tore up. Come on, Chuck. My CPAP's here. Come on, here. Chuck, up here. Come on, sugar bear, up. Get in your bed. Hi, say hi to it. Damn it. No, that's not poop. We well, if you'd let me help that's you, I'm trying to fix your That's a melted plastic on the carpet. Well, you're not, I swear. You're not listening. You're just not. I'm gonna interrupt his whole thing. Hold on. Can I use your charger? <laughs> Sorry to bomb your mukbang. Hi, everybody! I'm not alive or anything. Uh, just a regular video. Can I use your charger? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just talking about uh, how we met. Are the nachos good? Yep. How we met and became friends. Oh, cool. Remember when we used to, like, go out behind that school? Oh, and I used to pee outside? I didn't mention it. You have. Oh, sorry. I used to, <laughs> I used to like, going to the school to pee. And poop. Ew, I did? Oh, yeah. It was right behind the dumpster. Oh, well... But the, yeah, she'd pee a lot. The janitor must be confused. We'd go back there and, yeah, we'd go back there and that, I didn't want to it mention it, like but me. since she did, it's okay. <laughs> I didn't want to be the one embarrassing you. Yeah, but... <laughs> As if it's, you have any shame. That's very... That's very considerate of you, Pete. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, Hold on, y'all. We got to watch that again, trying to get these hoodles under control. They had the beds all tore up.
because I was going to go back. And now I don't want to. What's going on? My CPAP's here. See? Exactly. Nobody cares about the CPAP. <laughs> Good God. No, that's not poop. We've already... That's a like melted plastic on the carpet. Where do you... Okay. <laughs> I still want to debacle. Where? How do you get melted plastic on your carpet? Does anybody else have melted plastic on their carpet? I'm gonna interrupt his mukbang. Hold on. Oh, pizza's doing mukbangs Can now. This is her? funny. <laughs> Sorry to bomb your mukbang. Hi, everybody. Oh, goodness. Just a regular video. Can I use your charger? Yes. Yeah, I'm just talking about uh, how we met. Are the nachos good? Yep. How we met and became friends. Oh, cool. Remember when we used to like go out behind that school? Oh, and I used to pee outside? Wow. I didn't mention it. You have. Oh, sorry. I used to pee. <laughs> wow. I used to like, go into the school to pee. And poop. Ew, I did? Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, well. But the, pee a lot. the janitor must be confused. We go back there and, yeah, we go back there and that, I didn't want to mention like but me? she did, it's okay. <laughs> me too, sarcastic. I mean, you know, you. Yeah, but... <laughs> As if it's, you have any shame. That's very, that's very considerate of you, Pete. <laughs> We gotta see that again, sorry. Wow, she looked completely different. So what, uh, the Marvel, the, uh, comic stuff wasn't working, so, um, now we're moving on to mukbangs. Did she give him the advice? We'll just do mukbangs. You'll get money doing it that way. Sorry, yo, I gotta see this again. Just look at her, even her chin in this. It's hard to, uh... Reverend, good night, love. Did I bring my charger? Look at her, her neck even in this. Right, Neff? Oh, that girl, you know, the one that uses the bathroom outside. Because I was going to go back. And now I don't want to. Get out your nose. My CPAP's here. See? Nobody cares, Chantal, about your CPAP. <laughs> Hi, it. Yeah, it does, that's Frosty. Like already, that's a like melted plastic on the carpet. I swear. Melted plastic. I'm gonna interrupt his mukbang. His mukbang. Hold on. Okay. Can I use your charger? <laughs> Sorry to bomb your mukbang. Mukbang. I'm not on live or anything. Uh, just a regular video. Can I use your charger? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just talking about uh, how we met. Are the nachos good? Yeah. How we met and became friends. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. I'm, I'm not interested. Give me your charger. Oh, cool. I used to pee outside. Look at the look on her face. Oh, sorry. Look at the look on her face. She thinks it's absolutely great. Look at the look on her face when she says, when I used to pee outside. Look at the look on her face. I'm not alive or anything. Look at the look on her uh, face. Can I use your charger? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just talking about uh, how we met. Are the nachos good? Yeah. How we met. Yeah, yeah. Karina, she's like oh, happy cool. at the watch. Remember when we used to like, go out behind that school? Oh, and I used to pee outside? I didn't mention it. You have. Oh, sorry. I used to, <laughs> I used to like going to the school to pee. And poop. Ew, I did. Oh yeah. Poop right behind the dumpster. Oh, Pooped well. right behind the dumpster. Wow. The janitor. pee a lot. The janitor must be confused. We go back there. And, yeah, we go back there. And that, I didn't want to mention it, like but me? she did. It's okay. <laughs> I didn't want to be the one embarrassing you. Yeah, but. 
as if it's, you have any shame. That's very, that's very considerate of you, Pete. <laughs> ah, did you get a big enough bite there, Pete? I don't understand it. Okay, let's watch the truth video. Go to Salty Shannon. Okay, let's watch. Hold on, we'll watch Truth, then we'll watch the... What in the... Remember when I used to pee outside? <laughs> and I... Oh, I pooped too? The janitor must have been confused. No, we're all confused. The janitor's confused. I'm confused. Yeah, let's watch. Um, You said Truth is... Okay, there's its water weight. Hold on. What are you doing, you little tyrant? Say, being a tyrant, honey. Being a tyrant. Say, being a tyrant, Mr. Wiggs. Say, that's what I do, honey. Okay, fantastic. This is one minute and, uh... Right? The janitor must have been confused. Uh, we are all confused. Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll watch Truth and then we'll watch Shannon. Like, honey, we're all confused. Thumbs up. I mean, it's, yeah. A lot. Oh, I meant it. Hold on. Think. Gotta show some love. Bingo, bingo. Okay, fantastic. People go through that phase, obviously. But... Hi, Fez. Can I use your charger? <laughs> like, dude, buy a freaking charger, man. Mukbang. That shit cracks me up. A mukbang. I'm not on live or anything. Uh, just a regular video. Can I use your charger? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just talking about uh, how we met. Are the nachos good? Yep. How we met and became friends. Oh, cool. I remember when we used to... Like, <laughs> right now, like... like behind that school... Look at the smile on her face. She thinks it's amazing. I didn't mention it. You have. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I used to like going to the school to pee. And poop. Yeah, what did? Oh, yeah. We poop right behind the dumpster. Oh, well. Dude, can you imagine, like, cleaning up the school grounds and being like, what kind of animal sh is that? Yeah, she does look big, not to be. Yeah, she definitely is um, showing us what she wants us to see from different angles. Okay, Saudi Shannon. I like Shannon's video, guys. Call me. I like Shannon's videos. I really do. I know some people aren't a fan of Shannon. Where's my cap to the water? Um, I like Shannon's videos. I think that she's very... I think Shannon kind of calls it as she sees it. And um, I like Shannon's videos. I really like... I, I do. I think Shannon just seems like she just... Wow, did you see that little bit of water pop out? Um... I think Shannon just calls it as she sees it. She don't give a shit. Like, yeah, our girl, and I know some people aren't. And, and I do think, you know, that the way things went about, the whole situation, you know, it was kind of messy. But, um, you know, you also got to see Shannon's side of, you know, um, 
you know, she was genuinely trying to help Chantal, and Chantal was cussing at her, and, um, you know, I, I do think that things, oh, sarcastic, definitely. Yeah, she's like, I'm gonna get rid of my 4Xs. Buddy, you are a 4X. Um... Yeah, she's like, I'm going to get rid of some of my four X's. And I'm like, why are we getting rid of the four X's? Um, okay, so what we've got is... Retro React to St. Patrick's Day 2017. Which one did you guys want to see? Which one did we want to see? The newest one says, um, Retro Reaction to St. Patrick's Day 2017. I think we should watch this one. It's only 7 uh, minutes and 11 seconds. And that's the... I've always heard about this St. Patrick's Day where Chantal was, like, shoving the camera in people's face, but I had never seen this one. Yes. Okay, let's watch this one. Yeah, I've always heard about this one, but I've never hello, seen hello, it. Hello, hello, my pretties, and thanks so much for coming back. Yeah, I think I Shannon, you can tell she takes she care of herself and... Attempts of trying to fix it and not being able to figure it out. I figured... This is the next best thing. I feel so, you, Shannon. I'm always having technical difficulties, too. Did you say... I've always heard about this one, but I, I don't recall seeing it. So I hope I didn't do or say anything that will embarrass I know, Carolyn. I freaking took a nap, and I woke up... Hold on, y'all. I throw this trash away around me. Um, I took a nap, and I was like, well, hell's bells. What do I do? Yeah, I took a nap, and I'm like, do I get up and hang out. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to, I was like, I ain't got nothing to lose. It's quiet around here for the most part, other than these two wigglies. And okay, y'all, I'm going to throw away this handful of trash. My burger wrapper right Without quick. Without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, on, y'all, it's very light. And welcome to my vlog. I'm going to be going now to my hometown to a party with some of my Old school BFF, so look at just the difference and like, like I, can, so. I mean, granted, there's probably a filter here, but um look at just the difference in her skin and just um completely different. Sit back and enjoy the ride. Hold Anyone on, y'all, I'm gonna throw this trash away. Tone in her voice. Oh my goodness, here we go. I'm coming, guys. I'm gonna throw, if they get a hold of this burger wrapper, they'll be sure to bear one you lay in your bed, buddy. Come on, Pete. Get in your bed. Petri. Come on. Come here, big girl. Come on, Pete. Come here. Get in your bed, Chuck. Come here. Come here, scoot over. Give me a shot. Come here. Come here, sugar bear. Come here. There you go. This must have been when she first started you YouTube. Go. Interesting. Come here, you crazy girl. So this is one of my really good friends. I met her when I was 18. She came to Cuba with me two years ago. Love her to death. And Chantal and I went to high school with her. We have a lot of good memories with her as well. Wait till we have more tequila. This is like the specialist person ever. Notice how she says the most specialist person ever. If you asked her today, she'd probably say the biggest piece of shit ever. I don't have any subscribers. Well, yeah, subscribe to me, but so. And actually, she reached out to me a few months back. She's sick of Chantal's shit, too. 
and she even reached out to her mother as well. It's St. Patrick's Day. Do they, do they celebrate St. Patrick's Day in the States? This is Chris, my uh, BFF boy, special man. You've never had a better boyfriend than this ever. I definitely have to agree with her there. All my other boyfriends were douchebags. Is he perfect? No. But is he perfect for me? Absolutely. Okay, y'all. If you lay up here, you know, if we ever have another get together soon, <laughs> Chantal's not going to be able to participate. I mean, not like she would show up anyway, but still, she's not going to go anywhere that I am. Yo, I'm going to fix this better so it's closer. I know this is kind of low. Sugar, if you lay up here, you got to scoot over, buddy. Oh. Okay. Oh my god, I remember them, and whoever made them put way too much alcohol. I think I only had one. Okay, y'all. Um. Baron, hey, you're on my YouTube channel. Say hi. Guys, this is so hard to hear. I should have started this over. And... Oh, look. Proof that Chantel loves green shit in her mouth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, this is a sea of shoes. This party is lit as AF. <laughs> Mr. Roboto. Now that's a sea of luck. Come with me, my love. Yeah, she thought she could sing back then too. Eh, eh, eh. Do you remember the song? We all have this sticker here. Oh my gosh, you guys. You look like the type of person that doesn't want to be pointed at. Well, let me just shove this in front of your face. Nah, that's just a coat. This is so hard to hear. Can you guys hear it? Did I just hear that right? Did she just say, I'm not a cannibal yet? I'm not a cannibal well, I must yet. I missed that the first time around. I told him not to make eye contact with him, didn't I? Oh my god, I was so buzzed. Okay, there was this young guy there, and he was into some MLM bullshit, and he kept trying to sell me face products all night, and I kept telling him, bro, I shop at Sephora, leave me alone, and he just wouldn't stop, which is hella annoying. I hope he doesn't watch this video. He's gonna be Very like, oh, much, Rhea. Really. I get the same vibe. Well, it's not Mary Kay, but it's like, you know, I'm kidding. I'm saying, like, he's, 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 yeah, like, but he's like, totally, and... he's like, oh, you, you could distribute this, and you could tell your friends. Like, get out of here, bro. <laughs> we don't want to hear about that when we're doing like, like, I'm He stole your seat. He stole my seat. I'm going to have to kick him out. I don't care. I'll yes, kick him out. Oh my god, it's so funny that she said that. Whenever we were younger and I would have a party, she would always call me beforehand and be like, make sure you save me a seat and make sure no one takes it. Because she was so scared she was going to have to stand all night. Make sure you save me a seat. Okay, honestly, who are you playing that at right now? Are you guys? A bunch of people that we don't know. Okay, this is it for now. I'm just gonna... Yeah, my nipples can cut glass right now. <laughs> so she just asked Chantal where her car was. So obviously she was drinking and driving. Hmm. I will say I did have a really good time that night and Chantal and I laughed a lot. It's crazy how things change in such a short amount of no, time. No, yeah, Carolyn. If only I knew then what I know now. She just makes like, Shannon said, are you cold? And she said, my nips are, they could cut glass. So you could tell she just would always say out, I mean, you know, granted you're at a party, you know, but you could still see she has the vibe of very, you know, yeah, exactly, Carolyn. The, the loudness, the fake vibe, the just, yeah. Chantel used to have this video on her channel. Yeah, this used to be on Foodie's video. Oh, man, things would have been different. Mary, good oh, morning, well. love. Say la vie. All right, guys. I hope you enjoy this. Much love, everyone. And stay awesome.
Well, that was interesting. Yeah. Let's see what else we can get into. Yes, Frosty, I agree. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got brewing out here. Lorraine, I don't think she really has anybody left at this point from what I see. Um... Okay, I seen something interesting earlier. When uh, just breezing, Chantal was talking about BB again, or BBJ. Yeah. Yeah, Chantal was talking about getting rid of BBJ again. Let me see if I can find it. I watched it before I took a... Man, I found a video earlier. Dude, it was so weird. This mom and daughter is going down the road. And a freaking tree... I'm not joking. A tree is just floating in the air. I'm not exaggerating. Look up Conspiracy Vibes if you get bored. It says, is it a glitch? It's called Conspiracy Vibes. It's 25 seconds. There is a tree just floating in the air. I sh you not. Know okay, here we go. Okay, hey, let's... Breezers. Hold on, let's give her a thumbs up. Yeah, there is a tree. I'm not joking. Look up what I just say. There is a tree. A mom and daughter are just driving, and there is a tree. Hold on. Okay, we'll watch it right quick. Hold on. Thank you for the video. Yeah, check this out. It's very hard to see. You're probably going to have to go watch it yourself after, you know, but at least I'll show you guys. It's real hard to see. It's very small, but there's a tree just... <laughs> I'm like, what is going on out here? It's called, Cons <clears throat> excuse me, Conspiracy Vibes is the channel, and it says a glitch question mark, and it's got 19.9 million views. Now, you're going to have to, it says, Mom and I were driving when I saw a glitch and made her turn back to record it. it doesn't just appear. Hold on, this is going to be hard to see, but I'll show you what the channel looks like, that way you can... You know, if you... Now, look at this. I'm going to have to hold it up because it is quick. Okay, look up in this corner up here when they said there it is. And they look up right around the top here. It doesn't just appear. Someone had to come around. Did you see it? No. It's not that. <gasps> there it is. Where? Look. Oh, oh, let this guy go. Did you not just see that? No, are you filming? Look up, look up. Okay, look up. Left. Look! There's a floating tree. There is a tree floating through the air. No BS. Go check it out. Like I said, it was hard for me to see. I kept rewinding it. Hold on. Look up. Look up. Okay, get ready. Here it comes. Look up. Look up. Look up. Yeah, if you get bored, check it out. It's hard to see even. I had to keep going back. But there's a damn tree floating through the air. I was like, okay, what is really going on? All right, a floating tree. Okay. Okay. So someone asked her what the plan is. chapter. And she said she doesn't know. There's a fruit fly. You have, it's, plus. it's Are real quick. It's called, uh, hold on. 
conspiracy vibes and it's a glitch question mark question mark and it's at 1.9 million views I'll show you here here's a little yeah conspiracy vibes that's their little it says a glitch question mark and then it's got the person's tiktok okay this is just breezing Okay, so, she has been getting ripped earlier and earlier in the day, too, I've noticed. I know, Cheryl, but it's, I don't know, it, it's, I don't know, something looks strange. We've got to get back to the office. Oh, it's not that easy to just move on. Just, You're gonna have to. I love the conspiracy stuff. Look at her super chat she got. What are you doing? If your family you won't accept him, it will make things even more difficult. Him. If your family won't accept him, it will make things even more difficult. Treatment she is yeah, ripped and it is so early. I have no idea. It was pretty high up to be attached to something. Yeah, I want to do things in my live streams instead of just sitting here talking about this. So this was interesting to me. It's like, oh, I want to do things in my live streams other than just sitting here. What You're in charge of your channel. So I don't understand why she's like, oh, I want to do things in my live streams. Well, then do it. You're the gatekeeper of your channel. I don't know, Belladonna. I think it's supposed to be today, but I'm not for sure. And I guess that they told her don't say anything about if she comes over for the holidays. Yeah, I guess uh, her family told her today, like, you know, don't say, you know, I'm going to Christmas at Blase Blase's or... Hold on, y'all. These pillows are driving me nuts. Charlotte sometimes, oh... BBJ just sitting there trying to tell you to This is a mess. We gotta figure She's something out. She's not gonna out. be here much longer, oh and all she wants is you to notice her and give her love. BBJ. That almost made me cry. It's true. She just wants her mom. Oh. Breaks my heart. So here we go again. And animals know. With the BBJ like stuff. They're getting older, not feeling good. They just want to be around you all the I time. I love you too, Pete. Pete, I love you too. You're just a baby. You're Go to a, a Christmas drive through That would be fun. She should. You're just a baby. Yes, you are, Petrie. You're just a baby. Let's grab a selfie stick and let's go jogging, someone said. Man, this is irking my nerves. You don't care about her. Of course not. I'm not going to give her to an old lady. Petrie, you're just a baby. And why does she keep say giving her to an old lady? Like, why does she keep... That's driving me crazy, too. Anybody can take care of a pet. They don't have to be an old, old lady. Like, she's like, oh, I'm getting, not giving her to an old lady. Like, dude, people can take care of pets. Can, like, they... Oh, I know. Petrie, say, I love Petrie. At least, you, not see, at least anywhere. we have footage. She's loving on BBJ right just now. Just a baby. I just wish BBJ got this kind of love all the time. I don't want her to die. You want the heater on? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I seriously don't know what I'll do. Then you need to spend time with her now. <sighs> well, it's true. She does deserve that. But she's... As you can see, she's very, like, am I not supposed to have a life at all? She stands here, like, she would stand here all day if I wanted her to, probably. I swear to God. Because she loves you. So am I not supposed to have a life? Am I not supposed to have a boyfriend? Am I not supposed to have a, uh, go see people? What if I had to, a job where I had to leave my house? Look at her, she's looking for my hand to pet her. No, BBJ. I'm not your, I'm not your friggin' slave. 
<laughs> You're giving up your life for a mean person, though, somebody said. <laughs> she's, the most, she's the most loving cat, though, honestly. Look at her. Get up your, someone said, get a boyfriend who doesn't abuse animals, duh. Aww. Someone said, no one is saying that, foodie. You always go to the extreme. Look at her. She's hugging me. <laughs> she's so, she's too sweet. I can't handle it. Please don't say my name. Said so exactly how I work. A job, have a dog, and a healthy relationship. Never once have I ever said my dog deserves to be with someone else. Yeah. I make him a priority because I love him. That's it. <laughs> she's the best cat, and she's a shelter cat, too. You're free Chachi's to a rescue, and she has to be by my hip always, but I never, <laughs> ever, ever leave her for her. Oh my gosh, of you guys. Or neglect her or, oh my gosh. Your beer is right up my tail. Boogie Lou. And if anybody ever told me, any man especially told me I had to get rid of my dog, so. I'd get rid of the man. Just my, just my You're way just of life, so I guess. Ew. Well, there was, I mean... It was a hard thought. Look at this. She's high. Because I was so in love with him that if I wanted to move in with him, then she might be happier not around us. But I wouldn't be. I would not be happier without BBJ in my you life. Would really, too. Chantal? Really? I feel like you don't have something weighing you down. Think of, you know, I know that sounds stupid. I know I wouldn't be happier. Dude, get out of here. You're not even going to say that if... You're not even going to say that if it's not a thought in your mind. Like, that gets... I wouldn't be happier. Dude... Was it Kai Bear? See, I thought she said she messed up and it was tomorrow. Because the very, even that arrangement is selfish, but, like, I don't know. And I am a person who believes that, like, whatever you do in life, you have, what decisions you do in life, you have to, like, consider your pets, you know? Because mm -hmm. they're part of your family. You can't just, like, okay, I need to give them up kind of thing. I don't know. You don't know. I feel like people have lives and lives. She makes absolutely no damn sense at all. She exactly. She's lazy. That's what it boils down to. She, even before Natter came along, people been telling her to take the cats to the groomer, take the cats to the vets. Like this all started right before Natter even came along. Like again, I'm not trying to, you know. Satchels, welcome, love. You know, this has been... And listen what she says. Oh, I can't have a life. Dude, people have dogs. People have cats, iguanas, hamsters, and they still have a damn life. Like, get over yourself, dude. You know. You know? No, I don't know. Someone asked, so you would give up your cat for a man that oh, didn't love you? Let's this lip gloss. Nobody cares about your lip gloss. You got cat hair in it anyways. No, they're not disposable. Of course not. No, you're not. I know. She looks mad at me. I would never. I'm not giving you away. Okay? But you considered it. She's 19 for crying out loud. Like... Giving her away the last moments of her life would be so hor... I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. It would be so Please what, Chantal? So horrible? Sorry, you didn't finish your sentence. It even ever crossed my mind. It never fully crossed my mind. No. Did it? But you said you considered it. Doesn't no. she deserve more? Not you like said that. Maybe we did. Someone said, like, oh, this conversation makes me mad. I don't like this one. Nobody cares about your stupid lip gloss. I love how she can just go from, like, a serious, like, oh, this lip gloss, like, 
Dude, nobody cares about your stupid lip gloss. It's not what you think it is. You probably found it Wait. in the back of your couch. Huh. Someone said, but you oh, thought dude. about it many times and changed your mind. Look. All right, you guys. She's annoyed me enough today. <laughs> and this reason says she's happen. annoyed me uh, enough today. I don't know. Don't I'm probably not going to come back for a while. Today, anyways. Um, yeah, she's like, oh, look at my lip gloss. Dude, you probably found that lip gloss in the bottom of your couch or in the seat of your car. Nobody cares about your stupid lip gloss. Like, get over it. Like... She has just got on my absolute nerves this week. Exactly, KK's Corner. She's like, oh, the slip gloss things. Like, nobody gives a rat's asparagus. Like, dude, you're like, her attitude this week, it's probably a good thing I didn't cover it because the way I was feeling, but her attitude has just gotten, I didn't think it was possible. But her attitude has just gotten more crappier and crappier through the week goes. She literally, right? Her attitude, I didn't think it could, like, she just really believes that she does nothing wrong. It's like, oh, look at that I've all done for you. Dude, it doesn't matter if you buy people things and you still treat people like a piece of sh it. I would rather somebody be cool to me than buy me stuff. Like, she doesn't get that. Frosty, yes, it is. Like, she is just completely... Her attitude and her delusion is just ridiculous. Like, I did not honestly think that it was possible. But I'm telling you, there's a couple parts this week that I'm just like... Like, just breathing said, like... You've got on my nerves enough today. I can't even watch. Like, she really just thinks, like, I can buy somebody stuff, treat them how I want, come on here, talk as much mess as I want, and that's cool. Like, she doesn't get it. Like I said, putting that her out the equation, dude, you were getting on here and dragging somebody. Exactly, Uncle Buck Squirter. She thinks she can buy love and buy people's like, look at all I've done for you. Who cares, dude? Who cares? Dealing with her is not worth any of that little shit. Like, it's not worth it. Like, seriously. Like, I'd rather get a job or do something. Like, it's not worth it. Yeah, and that's the thing, too. Even, like, Pete's was, like, the other day, he was, like, I think it was today or yesterday. He was, like, well, technically, you're supposed to take the cats to the vet every six months. Well, first off, Pete's, I highly don't think that, um, you know, you uh, have to take your cat to the vet every six months. But uh, that's a whole nother. We won't go there. But um, she's, like, really? Dude, the vet money, and I highly doubt she's given Vegan for Life's money back. I highly doubt that. She asked for it back the other day, and she's like, okay, okay, I forgot. Dude, give that girl's money back. Give that girl's, give her money back, dude. Clockwork, welcome. Like, give that girl's money back, man. You spend that in one eating setting getting carry out when you get paid. Exactly sarcastic. Yeah, like, give that girl's money back. Like, and then it's it cracks me up, like, oh, Natter's food is so good. Then, dude, why are you running? Why are you running to get fast food immediately after you leave there? Come on, man. Like, People can see through that shit. And I'm not saying, you know, his food is good or bad. I think for her, it's just the fast food fix. Typical narcissistic. Franny, welcome. Typical nar narcissistic trait to say, because I paid, you should do such and such. I agree. Yeah, and Frosty, that's the thing. It's like the older the animal, you know, 
Who only knows when poor Timbit was at the vet last? That cat could have, and again, you know, I know this is a sore subject, but that cat was probably suffering at the end. If that cat would have went to the vet, they could have seen, you know, hey, I really think the cat's suffering. I really think the cat is in pain. Yeah, exactly. That's one red lobster fiasco for her. I, I don't get it, like, yeah, she eats fast food before she goes there, right, Amanda Dawn, and after she leaves. I don't understand it, I, I don't, like, I don't see, you just bragged about making 12k a month, dude, that's, that's a, that's a walk in the park money-wise to take them to the vet. That's a walk in the park. And people keep asking, like, are you going to get a dog ever? Dude, she does not need another pet at all. At all. She doesn't need a hamster, a goldfish, nothing. Exactly, Frosty. Timbit should have, with the condition that Timbit was in, Timbit should have went to the vet a long time ago. Yeah, I mean, she doesn't need a goldfish, a hamster, even like a low-maintenance pet. Yes, thank you, Lorraine. Plastic plants. Stick with Harry Bush. All right, campers. Well, I think I'm going to try and get some rest. I've got to go back up to the hospital, and it's a good ways away. So, we got to do that tomorrow. And, um, look at this little love over here. Petrie, you're so cute, Petrie. Say goodnight, Petrie. Say goodnight, Petrie. Petrie says, if you don't leave me alone. All right, y'all. So, I will probably see you guys, um, obviously not this late you know i just wanted to come when i had fell asleep man and it's just been a lot so um thank you again for being here thumbs up if you haven't let me turn all this off if you guys get bored the youtube underground covers today and um oh my gosh you guys the I'm a real man on the soundboard is absolutely hilarious. I might actually watch that to wind down. I fell asleep to some of it earlier. I'm a real man. Oh, my goodness. I Every time I heard that, I was like, you'd think it would get old, but it... Look at my body. Look at my body. Oh, my gosh, you guys. It is 525. Yes, I'm about to wind down. Yeah, it is 525. Say, I'm a real dog. I'm a real man. I'm a real man. Look at my body. Oh, goodness. All right, all right. Sugar Bear just woke up. Sugar Bear's like, put that stupid thing away. I'm a real man. I'm a real... Nope, nope, nope. Okay, okay. All right. We're not. We're not. It's not a real man. It's... Look. It is not a real man. <laughs> it's not a real man. Okay. It's not a real man. It's not a real man. Say, stop saying that. Say, will you stop saying that? Can you do that for me? Say, I'm a real dog. She is the sweetest dog, one thing. Say, stop saying that, mama. Say, I'm a real dog. All right, all right, all right, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. All right, you guys. If you're just coming in, watch the beginning. It's a little bit of, oh, she is something else. Hold on. She's a real dog. Here, let's do it one more. She's probably going to tear. This is probably going to be... Hold on. Okay, okay. All right. Okay, all right. Get back over here. My bad. All right, I'm putting it down. I'm putting it down. Ow, okay. Get over here. You hurt my legs. Come on, you're a real dog. High five. You're a real dog. Okay, ow, you're a real dog. All right, you guys. She is well and tight. Yeah, she hates that thing. Say, I don't like it. Say, I'm a wheel dog. All right, you guys. Thumbs up. If you get bored, there's plenty of stuff to watch. Start the beginning of this. Okay, I'm coming. All right, we're going to lay down. 
Look at what she's like. She is a pit bull bully bulldog. Say she's a real dog. She's a real dog. Her ears are so soft. Say she's a real dog. Should we do it again? Just wrote. Hold on. All right. She's a all right. All right. Okay, we're done. We're done. All right, get over here. Come on. Ow, you hurt my legs. Come on. Ow. Get over here. All right. Jesus. All right. <laughs> She's like, cut that crap out. Stop. I love you too, Pete. All right. I love you guys. I will see you later. Thumbs up if you haven't. And if you get bored, watch the beginning. Have a great day, great night, and I'll see you guys it will not be this late unless, you know, something happens, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day, everybody. Sam Saro! Sam Saro!